Hey everybody, welcome to the Unity Gaming Evecast. It is Thursday, October 17th. Uh, it is a Thursday? Uh, fuck, I already fucked that one you up. You just anyway, say your name. Whatever. You My name, name is Stompy. Peace. I am Richu. I'm Dan. And I'm Kumar. Kumar. So how are you guys doing? Peak, and here saying? is Lugio. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, I don't know what the fuck that Pokemon's name is. Uh, oh, don't Pokemon X. <laughs> is that legitly its name? I oh, okay, thank God. I was, I was like, is it X to the Pokemon? The glowy stag one. Is X going to give it to you? As opposed to the red Y flying one. So I guess we'll segue into uh, Pikachu's. Dan, you've been playing Pikachu's? I've played 15 hours. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I've played 15 Pikachu's. I have also played I, 15 minutes. I caught a Pikachu. You really? Know, really? What'd you in, name him? In, in Pokemon? I just, I Did you name him Ralph? I don't name my Pokemon. <laughs> Ralph the Pikachu. I wanted to try and, because the way the Firefox Pokemon evolves, I wanted to name it High Priest of Mozilla, <laughs> but that doesn't fit. Aww. Um, what are you doing? I, so I wanted to get my Pokemon names because I want to I explain to you. Okay, so so Dan, I started my game. I got it today, five days late. Uh, so it's supposed to ship on Saturday. Don't ship on weekends. It's supposed to ship on Monday. Monday was Thanksgiving. I got that gonna shit sh- day one. I'm hardcore. Going to ship on Tuesday. And then I was following my my my, <laughs> my, my tracking. And it's like, hey, because I bought a food shop. Their thing is Mississauga. It's like, we're going to Kitchener. I'm not in Kitchener. We're going back to Mississauga. <laughs> Hey, we're going to Ottawa. And I was like, oh, great. Did they actually mix something up or did they yeah. make a mistake? Yeah. So then I finally got it today. Um, so I f- when I started, Dan made me restart the game. Well, for a for good reason. <clears throat> yeah, I chose like a bad Pokemon. Kind well, of, no, no, no. Of, just, just... Well, I didn't, yeah. I explained what me and Skinned, one of our viewers, would have done, uh, which is get the Torchic as your fire starter and then pick grass and water out of the other ones. Yeah. Because um, the Torchic's a free Pokemon you get for connecting Wi-Fi up until January 15th or something. So. Yeah. Um, Which is what I wish we would have done. But yeah. We didn't. We picked the Firefox. So the game also starts with the asking... Hi, you, the High Priest of Mozilla. <laughs> the, the game also starts with asking, asking you what your name is. So I put Richo. And then it goes on and it's like, hey, what's your nickname? Well, I'm that's like, in that group of friends. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh, well, well, Richo. And then when I restarted, <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. So I wrote Pun Master. But I wrote Pun Mast without an R. It's like Pun Master without an R. And it was dash R for Richo. So it's pun master. Just like mine is D money. You Yours go. is D money. Yeah. But now it says pun master. Props to the D money. That's Kumar's nickname <clears throat> for me, so I used it. I've been calling Dan D money for years. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so just to, I'm speaking right in the chat right now. Uh, Xyler's asking, "What? I didn't get a torchic." Whenever you load up the game, uh, you get what were you saying, Dan? What's called a mystery gift. You go there. Also, buy a like, Wi-Fi. If you buy the box copy, who buys box copies anyway? It tells you all digital motherfucker. Hey, you get a Torchic. Just got to go online. There's a code on there. Someone's going to steal your Torchic. There's no code on there. I checked. D-Money's always right. (laughs) Check the back, though. Um, But anyway, so I restarted, and I uh, named myself Pun Master. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go through this entire game punning through Pokemon names, right? So I start, and I pick the... the, I don't even know their fucking names anymore, because I changed all their names. Chesspin. The the Chesspin. And I I I named him Bearable, so he looked like a bear. All right. And then I got like a bird, so I called him Burden. And then I don't, oh shit, how do you, I don't know how to check. Okay, I got a uh, a bug and I called him. Oh, it's that bugging. new weird, like, it's, it's the new bug, whatever. Yeah. So uh, okay. th- then I, 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 I got him and I called him like Buggy or Bugsy or so, something with bug in it or bu- bug out or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. And then I found that caterpillar thing, the Pokemon again. A caterpie. So I, yeah, so I catch him. I'm like, well, I got a fucking bug. And I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> Catter. <laughs> but, so I'm just like, well, fuck this one. I'm only going to name the ones I want to care in my, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I go, I throw another one. And then I got the fucking Pidgey. Uh, Pidgey? Pidgey? Pidgey. Pidgey. Yeah, Pidgey. yeah. And so I fucking get him. I'm like, nothing fucking puns a pigeon because I was going to use bird, but I use fucking burden. And I'm like, I'm fucking giving up right now. <laughs> so I was like three Pokemon in, like five minutes well, in. Well, you don't need two flyers. <clears throat> yeah, no, I know. You can use Burden and put Pidgey but in. But I in the box early on that it was becoming Without a bitch light. to start punning everything I'd freaking meet up with. Like, Especially well. considering there's so many of them to catch. Yeah. Well, it, as I was telling you in over the group message that yeah. um, there's a name raider in one of the <clears throat> earlier towns that you get to, and I'm pretty sure that guy can name your... Can it change it or just reset it? You, you change know? it. Change whatever it? Whatever you want. So when you have settled into your party, then you can have pun names for all, right. all of them. All right. I've already settled into my party. I have the evolved Firefox starter. <clears throat> I have a Blastoise. 
I don't know what the fucking. How do you already have a blast ice? Because <laughs> I played 15 hours. I, I was told this game had exp sharing. I guess you don't start with it though. No, you do get it pretty early. Okay, because I think it's right after the first gym. Because I've caught all those Pokemon, and they're all like level two and three and shit, and then my main one's like level thirteen, and I'm just like, that's not being shared. You don't know how to swap it. Train and Pokemon. Use, yeah, no, you do that. You are the worst oh, Pokemon I do it, and then, trainer. Oh, I swapped you. You still got attack for that? Yeah. Yes. I, but I thought there was the XP sharing, so I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I just mashed my way through it until I See, realized an, no one else was level. It's an item that you yeah. get slightly later from where you are. I figured. <laughs> and then that turns off. I was real sad. It was quite the yeah because I went when I told you I got to the first Pokemon Center and I went to heal and I just took the ones out of my thing to put them in the box. Yeah. I was like, everybody's still level two and three. What the fuck? <laughs> got real sad. Well, you would have seen him. It would have been like, hey, Level this guy's up. leveling up. I figured. Let's learn new attacks, evolving. Um, and then I also have a Go Goat. <clears throat> it's it's Is a that actually its name. It, yeah, a Go Goat. Go Goat. It evolves from a Skidoo. I can't pun better than that. That's <laughs> that's it. Wait, 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 Dan. Quick question. Quick question. When you go to that naming place, do you get anything if they like the names you've chosen? I don't know. Maybe. Wait. I'm pretty sure it's just programmed to like the name that you chose. Oh, okay. I, uh, I think I want to restart my game. Also, oh, let me let me just say the kicker yeah. for this Skidoo evolving into Go Goat. Sure. It's Grass type. Really? Yeah. Those are that is sports. wonderful. <laughs> um. Um. And then, and then I have and then I have a, a Pidgeotto. And a Raichu. I wanna, I wanna go through the game again. I'm gonna restart. I'm it gonna was name. a Pikachu, but I wanted to evolve him because I'm not Ash, and I want. Okay, what's the, what's the first the before Pikachu, the teeny little thing? I've never Pichu. Pichu. I don't think I've seen that one. Okay, I just want to point out is that, a that the, fa the fan service and stuff in this game is so extreme that yeah. all the Pokemon still make their like <laughs> noises and stuff, <laughs> and Pikachu goes Pikachu, and like actually says his name. That's weird. That took me out of it. I was like, everybody's digital. What the fuck's wrong with your mouth, Pikachu? <laughs> um, Even to the point where I evolved it to a Raichu and it went back to making the like... Weird. Noises. Well, it has an weird. electric... Like a... Yeah. In Raichu's thing. But, but uh, no, I should restart the game. Then I do the realist. And then, for example, you get the Pidgey. You, you, you get Pidgey, you're like, fuck no. You're a Pigeon. <laughs> you get a Caterpie, he's like, no, fuck you. You're a Caterpillar. Just naming <laughs> Just, them whatever yeah. they actually are. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> like, Do no, it. You're a fucking bird. You're a wolf. <laughs> Goddamn raccoon. <laughs> All the fucking animals you start meeting. Zigzagoon yeah, is a great name. Yeah, I want that. Raccoon. I want that so bad. It was so cute. Because when it gets in, it's all like, <laughs> and it's like just kind of jumping around, playing with itself. You're like, oh, I want that. Playing with itself is probably bad. It evolves work. into a ferret called Linoon. Oh, I've heard that name before. I don't know what the hell's Man, new. I'm so removed from Pokemon. <laughs> it's been so many fucking generations. Yeah, What's the last Pokemon game you played? Silver. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, same. you guys Gold and silver. So. Gold and Out silver. of it. I uh, I don't remember when Red and Blue... Was that before the Silver yeah, era the or whatever? Red the and Blue ones. were the very first Pokemon games. So that was the last time that I played a Pokemon game. <laughs> Jump in. Wow. It's actually never been better from how this <laughs> That's game what is. Told, Wait, isn't that what it says right specific, here on the... <laughs> does it actually say that? You see $100 going to Dan's pocket? No. No, I like how it says exciting new features and there's just a Pikachu with a fucking hand groping its face. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. But actually these ones are very solid and simple. No, yeah, it's cool. This one, I feel like more than anything, is just like, just fuck it. Go play Pokemon. Yeah. Your stuff levels up so fast. You get so over levels for everything. I feel like it's easier to catch stuff. Um... Go have, have that fun. Experience share thing. You can run right away. Yeah. You get your rollerblades before you fight the first gym. You still get wow. a bike later on. Like it's just, it's just like, just go have fucking fun. Just play. Just play Pokemon. Just enjoy it. Yeah, I feel like that's what it is, and that's kind of great. That's pretty awesome, actually. Sweet. The only poopy thing I've been having trouble with is the like running around thing, but I think it's because I haven't tried it. You're just enough. so removed from those games. I that, guess so. Yeah. I've, I've been playing enough with the roller skates, so it's kind of felt better because, yeah, it takes away like the, oh no, I'm going well, diagonal well, only, or it's kind of. Well, yeah, the roller skates is analog movement. Yeah. yeah. Um, but whenever I was just running around, I found it hard because I'd like go towards a Pokeball or like, an item on the ground and be like trying to look for it, but he like walked diagonally into like weird shit. So I'm like, I'll use the D pad, but that was bothering me. I don't know. I oh. mostly rollerblade everywhere, and then if I need like precision movement, like if I want to avoid tall grass <clears throat> or something, yeah, I'll use the T pad. Makes sense. Um, it's hard to get out of that habit. You guys are so removed, so it's not going to happen to you. 
but I'm I just have the habit of holding down B and running everywhere. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute, I have fucking roller skates and I can just get around really fast. I gotta ask Dan, did you play SMT four yet? Somebody I got me booted it, it up yeah. and that was it. didn't get to a point where I could save within thirty minutes and went, Okay, I'll do this later. Okay. <laughs> um <clears throat> once you beat Pokemon, you got Y? Yeah. Once you once you beat Pokemon Y? I'll play Pokemon X. And then I'll play Mario and Luigi, and then I'll play some other stuff, and then I'll play Shin Megami Tensei 4. I feel like straight out after Pokemon, you should go right into SMT and be like... Because it's like hard Pokemon? Yeah, it's like Pokemon hard mode. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't played enough Pokemon to really judge it, I guess, yet, but it's it's kind of cool again. It's always been cool. Yeah. But this is... this. I feel like this again? is the most accessible one in a long time. Yeah. Like, they tried to do like a weird reboot thing with black and white. But I feel like those were still kind of like had a lot of weird holdover stuff and it wasn't perfect and there's still a little complicated. But this one's really just simple and just go have fun, play Pokemon, enjoy yourself. I am. Um, that's the best part about it. I, th- I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I'm not having fun. So yeah, I'm definitely also enjoying me- Mega evolutions. Yeah, that shit. I mean, I don't even know what the fuck that so is. So weird. I only have one. But uh, technically two because you get one of the story. But anyways. Yeah. So, so I got this game f- five, five days late. Yeah, and I was yeah. kind of excited up until it arrived, and I was like, "Yeah, sweet." Um, then when I started, it kind of reminded me so much of SMT, and I've kind of had not that I'm not that I'm saying I'm not going to play Pokemon, but I had like that fix of like uh, capturing through, like little minion dudes and like fighting stuff and leveling them up and doing the same kind of Pokemon stuff. Yeah, going into it, it's like, "Oh yeah, okay, it's this again." So, well, I feel like I don't know the difference that you're going to have there is that if you want to challenge, you go play SMT. Yeah, if you just want to kick back and Relax. just like I love the way play it looks some and fucking plays, Pokemon. Though. Yeah. But uh, no, but it was to the point where today I got it and I got home. Like I went to get it in the mailbox. Like yeah, put it in. I was like making my character, and then Devin was like, "All right, you want to play some Eve?" I'm like, "Yeah, fuck it." And I just like closed. It. I was like, <laughs> "I don't give a shit." Like I'm st- I'm in the middle of starting Pokemon that I've been waiting for for five days. Just close it. Fucking, it's got some Eve. Let's do Eve. You know what? So catch enough Pokemon so that you can Wonder Trade. Yeah. What is Wonder Trade? It's random trading. Ooh, couldn't that be really bad though? It's, shit, I don't even care. That's it's, like crates. If it's really bad, you just trade away the bad thing you just got. It doesn't even fucking is matter. This online, right? or yeah, is that, it, makes sense. that makes sense. It's it, it's only online. So you're, it's called that, Wonder Trade, and it does a little matchmaking thing, and it says, "Okay, you're matched with this person to send out this Pokemon that you just chose," and you send it out, and then there's this little animation of like your Pokemon flying up, and there's something flying down on a platform, and it goes, whoosh, and you see it for two seconds, and it flies back. It's like you got this thing. I've gotten stuff that's like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's Weird. great. It's great, and then I'll trade something else away. But if you get like a shitty oh, thing, like well, someone well, sends me a Bidoof, back I'm going to send that back, back. Back up here. Back up here. Can you name them, and then you send them with the names? Yeah. I have a Japanese Rog and Rolla. That's rock Pokemon. Richie, are you I just f- going to start sending off like really ridiculous, stupid names to people? <laughs> Please help, 911. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who did I get this from? Oh, my God. A Bidoof? Can you look up a picture of a, of a Bidoof? Just type B I D O O F. I want. I need you guys to have the context of this picture for the story I'm going to tell. People in the viewers oh, yeah, should do I've this got... also. Okay, you know what a Bidoof is? Sure. Okay, someone sent one of those over the Wonder Trade. Its name was just Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> I traded it away. D- don't fret, viewers watching. A Bidoof picture will find its way onto a screen near you. Boom. No, people listening to this podcast have the ability to Google. Did not work. I have faith in them. I, it's not. It didn't. Bidoofed. I goofed. You done bidoofed. I bidoofed. <laughs> I don't know where the goof is. <laughs> I um, kind of wanted to keep the bidoof name Zimbabwe, but oh well. I just traded it away yeah. so that other people could have that enjoyment. But the other best thing about like I'm just I just <clears> keep sending Pokemon. I'm like, what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Someone sent me a Ralts, and that's great. Ralts is like this kind of rare psychic Pokemon thing that was really hard to catch in the old games. But I guess someone sent it over the Wonder Trade. Just like, oh, I'm gonna fuck with this thing. Okay, uh, that's pretty um, cool. That's pretty rad. Um, I've heard stories of people like sending the like Torchic thing, oh. or just being like, yeah, I don't need this. Whatever. Is there no other way to get Torchic in the game, or as far as I know? Oh, apparently, wow. this, apparently this is like the definitive Pokemon and is like fucking massive so I don't know how much there is to that game but the people sending over Pokemon I'm like oh that's in this game hmm. like just kind of crazy stuff And but the great thing about it is that even if you get the Pokemon that traded away it goes into your Pokedex hmm. so as you're just wonder trading you're slowly building up like a higher Pokedex number I, I, I thought as you're this, getting random stuff these Pokemon would have every Pokemon in it no? no there's, that's, there's still two versions yeah, yeah, but I mean, to to combine, there'd be both, all of them, right? That's what I'm thinking from okay. like the stuff that's coming through the Wonder Trade. 
Unless because of the black and white two connection, there isn't. Maybe. Um, I don't know. That would be weird. weird. Mm, I like real that. weird. There, but, there's um, never, never before have they had like just all the Pokemon, but they have to have all the like assets for the Pokemon in the game because you can always like. If you could have, I don't know if there's a way to get them from red, blue, or gold and silver. Um, but if you had a Pokemon in like Ruby and Sapphire, which is the third gen stuff, yeah, it is possible for you to have transferred them all the way up to this game. Oh wow! Really? Like from game to game. Wow. All of them. For, yeah, you could have all your Pokemon from Ruby and Sapphire still, Jeez. and like in a current game. Jesus. It's crazy. Yes. What? That's messed. Those were the first Game Boy Advance ones. Yeah. And I don't if and if there's a way to go from the Game Boy to the Game Boy Advance games, you could have had your red and blue Pokemon. I don't know if there is though. There might Pro- be. Uh, wow. Like your original red and blue Pokemon. Damn, that'd be you crazy. Have that'd be really crazy. In X and Y. It'd be great if in this one you catch Pikachu and it just ran behind you like a yellow. That'd be really awesome. Uh, actually, the remakes of Gold and Silver oh. have that. Just Pikachu? Any Pokemon. Oh, really? You just the one, the one that's first in your party just hangs out, follows around with you. Cool. Why is that not an X? I don't know. Because you just bicycle and be like, <laughs> 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 fucking little you caterpillar just guy. Out. <laughs> just like dragging it behind you. It's terrible. It's wonderful. What mm-hmm. else have you been playing, Dan? Wonder Trade. Well, hold on. I, I had a question. Did you play any of the multiplayer random crap in there? Because I realized when on the bottom screen when you're running around, you can connect. No. Wonder Trade. But have you connected online? You have like passerbys, which are, I don't know what that means. Um, if you're friends. online, the passerbys are people that are playing in the same area as you, okay. no matter where they are in the world. Can you do anything But if you're or? offline, well, you can message them and trade with specific people okay, and stuff. Okay, cool. But if you're like running around something that gets wireless turned on, it's basically like a street pass. Like, hey, this person is playing like near you in the like physical <clears> world <throat> that you're in. Then you have friends and then acquaintances are people that you've battled or traded with before. Oh, that's cool. So my acquaintances is full up because I've wonder traded with like 100 people. Sick. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, that, so I was just wondering because when you hit online, it just kind of like kept playing and had all this stuff going on. The bottom I was like, "This is kind of cool. What is going on here? I feel connected." But w- Wonder Trade, Wonder Trade. All right, Wonder Trade. Um, can you just battle anybody anytime? Just go boom. I battle. think so. Cool. That's probably the best. Like the online functionality is probably the best part about this Pokemon. Yeah, that, that's Have you, the you play with the uh, the bank stuff yet, or is it not available? It's, it's not out yet. Okay. okay. I think it's next month or the month after. It's going to cost money. Are you going to be using it? It's five bucks a month, I think, right? Or something? Uh, I don't know. I want to say it's like five bucks or something a month. But would you get use out of it if you were to get <clears throat> I don't get know it? if it was a month, actually. I think it was like a yearly shitty like little five ten dollars a year thing. Oh, really? Or yeah, so maybe it's... Fi- sorry, it's probably five bucks a year. If, yeah. Or ten bucks a year or something. Well, I mean... The one thing about that is maybe if there's a way for me to transfer my Pokemon into that and then just like restart the cartridge. Well, I don't I have it digitally, but restart that the save file on that game yeah. and then maybe bring them back in later. That might be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, one thing you should definitely just start wonder trading for, just to find like random stuff that you want to use mm-hmm. because um, traded Pokemon evolve and like get experience <clears throat> faster. I'm trying to read right here in the, in the half assed manual. Um, Wonder Trade. If it tells you how to delete your save file, because I had to Google it. <laughs> I bet you it does say in there somewhere. Maybe, oh, maybe in the 3DS manual. You know, the fully fledged one that's like you can hit at the bottom of the screen. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. That would make. Um, that makes sense. Ooh, well, take that. Don't. I will kill you. <laughs> Don't take my, my E Nintendo Club points, point card, coin, pointer. I'm about to hit, I don't know. <laughs> I almost, because I registered this and I went to do the survey, Yeah. I forgot that there was a survey for Monster Hunter because I never did uh, it. Did I you, have it. you played any of it? Like, no, okay, wow. but it was it was two days away from expiring. Oh, no way. Losing those coins. It was 10, 10 or 30? 40. Have you done that survey? I think the last day is today. Um, so Better get on that, Rico. tell me more about this Pokemon as I cover my sound with the keyboard. Oh, Wonder Trade. Yes. Um, no. So, uh, anyways, have you been playing? <laughs> you should get away from Pokemon. Cause I don't know. If, I don't know the what else. The only other thing I, I played, played is Hearthstone because I got into that beta. Okay, that's it. What do you think of that? Because l- l- let me let me give you a quick timeline of my week. Okay. Since last podcast, 
Last podcast was Thursday night. Okay. When we were up fucking late doing that. Yeah. Went home, went to sleep. Got up the next day. Pokemon came out on the Saturday, right? Yeah. So when I got home from work after playing Friday Night Magic that night, yeah. I got home at like 9.30 and went, I'll just hang out on the internet and watch some stuff and uh, wait for uh, Pokemon to go live. And it got to midnight and the eShop fucking died because it was 80 billion <laughs> people, people were down the game. <laughs> yeah. And then... Um, I can't remember my login. I went to sleep, woke up, played Pokemon, have done nothing since yesterday when I got the Hearthstone beta. Oh my god. That's it. That's literally all I've played. Just Pokemon. So do you want to say anything about uh, Hearthstone or do you just want to say people... Uh, well, we, we, did a, we did a dry run. Yeah. Um, check that out, I guess. It's a competent intro to the game. Um, I hope it's competent at least. I'm pretty... I've still no, done practice he, he, stuff. I beat someone online. Yeah. So you also something. managed to teach us enough of that stuff in about 20, 30 minutes, so we, we knew what was going on. Well, it is a very simple game, is yeah. the other thing. Like, they don't, you know, with magic, they kind of layer on some of that complexity early because that's just the nature of the game. There's just so many cards. But Hearthstone is very, you know, it's very simplistic. There's no, they don't fill up the cards with flavor text or like there's... They there fill them up with them sick animations though. Yeah. Shit. The animations in that game are <laughs> mint. <laughs> Especially when all kinds of stuff is happening at the same Crazy. time. Yeah. And there's creatures attacking and there's sound. a fireball. And... Both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was complimenting my sounds with hand animations. Hand animations. Hand animations. Nice. I like how there's... Oh, okay, I gotta say this. Just as a side offshoot thing. You know when people say two words and then you both kind of click like animation i don't know i like that stupid shit when people both kind of telekinetic puns yeah. yep great telepuns it's like a ground dog shoe like a a shroud shoe dog ah. yeah i don't know i don't know why i went arnold there <laughs> 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 yeah no i don't know i just tried to i think that you have a stroke <laughs> that happens sometimes heart hearthstone is pretty good yeah um it kind of just makes me want to play more magic unfortunately <clears throat> but i can see too I think Blizzard knew what they were doing. Oh yeah. In regards to making that game for like, hey, people that are just hanging out and wow, why don't you come play this game? It's got the World of Warcraft name on it. You know, just getting people into that like collectible card game. You thing. waiting for your raid timer to pop in about a minute and a half? Why don't you play this game? It's so fucking fast. Why don't you play like eighteen games of Hearthstone? <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah. Actually, what if you could do that? What if in game while you're waiting <clears> for the raid timer to go down, whatever that is, as you just said. I don't know. I don't know if there's. I don't. Need, it's been a whole expansion that I've missed out on. So, I feel like if someone were to get into that game right now, I think it would be really fast to blaze through the new expansion. I feel like you could hit something and like level up, and uh, someone could theoretically hit max level pretty fast. Before whatever the hell the next one is. Have they just made it easier now? Are you than speaking it's ever of been? your strategy, <laughs> is this your strat no. now? Is this I what's don't want to happen? go back. Can we talk about the side effects of this Hearthstone dry run um, and subsequent purchases? Yeah, it. Uh, Eve online. <laughs> no. Did you just buy it? No. Oh, that's good. Here, okay. Here's the full story. I played Hearthstone for these guys. They went, "Wow, this makes me want to play WoW again," because of all the just the like flavor in that game, right? That's what you guys were thinking. Yes. So effects in the names. And then right after that dry run, my brother is purchasing Riccio's used 3DS, and he gave me a cool hundred bucks in cash to give to Riccio. <laughs> and yeah. there was a seemed to be a direct correlation in Riccio's mind to, hey, WoW costs money. <laughs> I have this money now. <laughs> so he opens up the Battle.net store down for maintenance. That's a sign. <laughs> that is a sign. And it's been down for maintenance ever since, and he's refreshing it. Awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not. The, the clicks you're hearing are me going yeah. through the comments. Yeah, sure. The, <clears throat> the comment. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not lying. Um, Dev Devin is only protecting himself from himself. He's 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 got willpower. Riccio is all Murder. fucking in, <laughs> if not for this. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just going to tell you. It's not because of willpower, but it's because I've already subbed to an MMO. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just actually my Final Fantasy fourteen sub just elapsed. Elapsed? Is that the, no? That lapsed. would be lapsed. Lapsed. Elapsed, elapsed would be yeah. 
not be relapsed. No, relapse would be stopping. Going elapse back. can be for the same it because elapse is like ended. Yeah. Okay. Or no, spending time is elapsed. Time, it, time elapsed. It pfft out. It was gone. Yes. So, it ended. Yes. Why'd you just say fucking ended? It fucking ended. Um <laughs> No, it um that that ended and I've been getting deeper into um Eve, which is funnier because uh, do, do you want to, do we want to segment? You guys can talk about it. Okay, so I'm done with the stuff. Like, unless we want to talk more about Pokemon. Well, can I just do one thing? Yeah. Kumar, how you doing? Because you haven't been talking much. I'm good. I'm good. Perfect. How are you? <laughs> good. <laughs> I was like, wait, has Kumar said anything in a while? <laughs> We've just been yelling shit. No, no, I'm listening. Okay. Um, but well, anyways, so, so I talked the past two weeks saying, oh, I'm joined a corp. It's crazy. There's all stuff going on. I never left. The goddamn station I was at. So I was so terrified of everyone saying, like, yo, there's stealth bombers out there. Just if you're like, gonna leave, just tell us, hop on Mumble. You start getting hit, you just yell something, we're gonna warp in, we're gonna deal with them. I'm like, well, I don't wanna fucking warp out because I'm just gonna die and there's nothing here. I have to import things for 25 minutes. I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna sit in this station, I'm gonna gain my skills and never do anything. Um, <laughs> so this week I left. Eve it. sounds terrifying. So I left. It really I le- does. I left just, the court. Just wait, Dan. It gets. Yeah. This will it's liberating in a yeah. second. <laughs> so so I left the corp, uh, and then I I, I, I made my my I, I spoke to the corp guy and I was like, hey, can because there's no sec what you're talking about, which is like low security and people can just kill you and there's no police and anything going on. So uh, we were in like minus craziness, and I was like, can, can you just help me import my stuff to like high sec? Just just get me to the the nearest happy place, and I'm gonna happy my way back home. Um. So like, yeah, sure. Just it'll be free. Just do it. You know, put a, a thingy through. The guy will move your stuff. So move my stuff, but then to go to another station yourself, you have to be in your little kind of like ejection capsule, and you make your way there. Or you can say, "Hey, I want to place a clone at the next station. I'll just self destruct myself and explode. I'll spawn over there." But then you have to pay money for life insurance again and all that shit. Right. Um. So I'm like, you know what? Going on an adventure. I'm going to capsule in a thing that has no weapons, no nothing. Move super kind of like semi slow, but warps fast. Uh, and I'm going to make my way to high sec in this shitty little ship. And I was just going through low sec. I'm like, you know, this isn't so bad. I undocked. I didn't get targeted. It, like flew around a little bit. Went to a warp gate. Like just went through the gate. Went through the next gate. And I was like, you know what? Low sec really isn't that bad. And then I get to the last jump before high sec. And there's just like a wall of fucking people. Just like, he came to the wrong part of town. And then just blow me out. Like instantly, like it was me <laughs> warping to the gate and being like, the, the 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 like lights which are like laser stars like slowing down yeah. so you're getting out of warp it's like and it's dead I was like oh well all right well <laughs> fantastic yeah. um anyways with that I finally made my way back to where Devin was and uh, this week I've been playing with Devin again and Zyler from the chat uh, as well as I but, guess Drackle and stuff. but not just like a little bit and we weren't doing what we were doing before it was just like mining and stuff yeah. I now have my probing ability up pretty high, so I can see all the different like anomalies and stuff like that. So we decided that we we're gonna go ratting, but like ratting in low sec where cash is. What made. does that mean? Okay, ratting rats are small NPCs that spawn around um, asteroid belts or gates or, gates or um, gravimetric uh, anomalies. They're just NPCs. They're meant to go and like you can go fuck them up. Yeah. Game are, they, are, so they, are they ships or space creatures? Space creature ships. They're just uh, okay. enemy dudes from other factions being like, hey, we're pirates. And they all have bounties on their head. No, but he says space creature ships. Are they living ships? No. 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 Though drones are technically autonomous. But they are not living ships. No. Define living. Do they have feelings Organic. and emotions? Hmm. They just have... Anger. Organic mm-hmm. biomass ships. Though there's no Tyranids in this game. Though yeah, that would you be had a, my hopes up. That would be a real sick twist if it was like, hey, I'm exploring. <gasps> yeah, they just they just put that somewhere out. That's what they're programming right now. They just yeah. put that shit out. As soon as someone hits that, there should be fucking invasion of the Eve universe. That then would they'll be, be like, <laughs> Oh my fuck. god, that would be rad as now fuck. When, when you walk around as a commander in your ship, you'll just click on another ship, you'll go in there and your guy's gonna have a gun. This can become turn base and it's space, be hulk. space hulk. You go, I'm gonna walk <laughs> down this hall. No, my aliens spawn there. You're like, no, do I run out back and steal a ship? Space hulk. It'll just be called Eve Online. Space hulk. And then Colon? you'll meet a Tyranid, and then you'll you'll pull out this box, and then you'll sit down and play a game of Hearthstone. Yeah, but the- super meta game within a game within a game. Inception. 
Like it'll it'll be for the ship. it'll be Eve Online colon wow oh shit dot dot then like half size font it's space <laughs> <laughs> and that's it <laughs> wonderful now that game is so we we've been doing ratting and stuff um which was working out great for us until today no 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 you're skipping over something massive here oh yes before we did all this fucking I'm like oh my god hey man I got a bounty on my head Devin do you want to help me get this bounty off my head you just gotta kill me. Yeah, sure. Well, I've been blowing up at asteroid belts. Let's go hang on an asteroid belt, and you shoot me in the face. Does that sound good, Devin? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> Let me buy this shitty ship with nothing on it so you can blow me up and it'll count as me being in a ship. Devin targets. Devin hits fire. I got a little pop-up. You're being attacked. Concord's on the way. I'm like, oh, dude, Devin, stop. He hasn't even fired a missile at me yet, and fucking cops Wait, come out of nowhere. No, no, no. It's a Concord. Concord is like <laughs> the, the intergalactic police. Okay. Yeah. But... It's not even to the so point. So wait, you were in a secured sector? Yeah, we were in a targeted yeah. and fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But here's the thing that happened. I hadn't even gotten like a missile off. It legit fucking. You were, you were in the middle of targeting, basically. Yeah. yeah. Your your dude in your ship was still loading the missile into the tube. Yeah. yeah. And and here's what happened. Fucking seven police. It was three. It was okay. It, it was big ass <laughs> battle cruisers, which are you. I can't fuck them up. I have I have problem fucking up one of them. Not and only. And they yeah. fucked me up so quickly I couldn't even warp. <laughs> but not not only that is that they arrived and instantly you have three tractor beams and just like scrambling going on Devin so he can't move, can't do shit, can't like fucking do anything. And it's like then I'm like, oh Devin, you should his ship is just like <laughs> just gone. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> <laughs> so zombie, did that's you, the did you best fucking story that's ever been told on this podcast yeah but it's just to be like oh dude did you even hit me what and like his just shit just <laughs> explodes and this the and then the best part is after devin's like were the concords like dude are you okay no no no, no. that was yeah. like a what, was like a 50 60 million isk ship or something that's 45 like, million decked out and shit F- fully decked out that ship is worth about 98 yeah. million isk so i'm just like oh oh fuck <laughs> And, and then... The so songs, you lost that ship, right? Yeah, it's oh, gone. yeah, it's fucking it's gone. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. And Zyla was there, too, and we were laughing kind of a little bit. It was terrible, but we were like, oh, shit. Uh, and then... But we were laughing because... <laughs> I'm laughing he, at the sheer ridiculousness no, of this but here's, fucking story. Here's the worst part, is that, like, Devin's gone back. He's, like, fucking sad. Like, he's not talking to us. And then I get it. It's like, oh, you got an email. I'm like, oh, okay. I click on it. And it's the Concord going, like, yo, you were recently attacked. By somebody called whatever Devin's name is, not gonna say it in case everybody goes yeah. to like bounty him or whatever. It's like you've been recently attacked by by Devin, let's say. Like, we're giving you a kill right that if at any point in time you feel like killing him, you get a free kill back at him. I'm just like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh god, Devin. Does this happen regularly or is this something yeah, I guess, that I guess that's why the Concords are not called police and like there's some weird vigilante name, because that's a vigilante but shit. But the funny thing right? is, like, oh it's just like But it's like me oh, and any of my target. Squad. Yeah, <laughs> but it, nope. happens, it happens so fast. But so many times, like I've been mining there, and people come in and bomb me. And I'm like, oh, like, they can do it. I'm guessing we totally can't. No, no. <laughs> and it, it was just like it's things like that you learn in like the worst. Well, Devin learned for us, but it's just like so. Holy shit. So based on your past experience, these three fucking battle cruisers should not have warped yeah. in as fast as they did and fucking ended Devin instantly. But it, it was uh, they must have been like hanging out nearby already. But it, what's up? It was funny because we were so sure whenever we told him the target, like we were just laid back, so like, yeah, okay, blow me up now. And then to go like, it says just lock on. Like, sit up in your chair, be like, oh, fuck, no, you, you have the you have the Devin lock on, and then you just like, you're, I'm staring at Devin, and you just have three beams just like, <laughs> like locking him in a place. I'm like, what is going on? The worst was I was sharing my screen on Skype. Yes, we could see so everything. like, they were just like De- De- Devin, and I'm like, ah. Oh, sh- yeah, the best part is Zyler was also going to help blow me up. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. How long did it take them to kill you? Oh, Less approximately than two seconds, point like, of a second. Like, okay, it was like so there wasn't beam, this boom. like there, there wasn't this just like minute of just like oh man. Okay. No, it was <laughs> it was quick. So, At least it was like it wasn't like they let let me like crawl on the ground for a little bit. No, they just quickly took that hammer to the back of the they head. They didn't pod you, it. so they didn't actually kill him. They just blew up his ship. But the, like, if you hit let's say F one to fire a missile, it goes like. Pfft, and then it'll, it'll shoot on, like, the end of the second. So it didn't get to do that full circle yet, and he was dead. Like, the, there was no missile on. launch from Devin. Full on dead. <laughs> it was fucked. But here's here's the real kicker. So we've been riding today 
or ratting for the rest of the week perfectly fine. God, that's so no, fucking no, great. No, no, it gets even better, Dan. I so I re- even imagine I how. rebought that whole ship, refitted the whole thing out, put fucking insurance on it, dropped a lot of cash in it. Today, we were ratting, and Richo and I were like, yo, we're going to go deep into null no, sec. Let's go minus three we or four. We went minus sec, sec, just zero security. It's nope. lower, it's zero and lower. It's zero and lower. So like, Low sec is 0. 0.5 to zero. Null sec what is it, zero. What does that mean? 0. 0.5 to zero is like there's still some so, sort of police. When you got blown up, were you in low sec? High sec. Okay. So yeah, so high. But uh, high sec is there's cops warp in no matter what and fucking kill you. Uh, 0. 0.5 to lower is there's sentry guns and cops going around the warp gates apparently, or at least sentry guns. So they could find you. So if you were to arrive and they were you were to shoot someone, the tur- tourists would be like, no, you're not killing that dude and blow you up or they try to or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then in low sec, once you hit zero or lower. There's nothing. People could just be surrounding a gate with like a hundred ships being like where the fuck's gonna warp in here is dead like just choose to do that <laughs> on, on that happy note you guys went to null sec yeah we went to null sec super super low sec and we ratted for a bit and, and got- i want to point out the second we got in we met these little beam things there was like oh these catch you if ever you're trying to warp through it'll just knock you out of it and make you like half a second a half a meter a second and just like creep yeah but and they're like 10 kilometers away so you want to get to the warp gate you're like like you're coming like full speed like but and you just stop. Here's the thing: is I don't know. Are those there because somebody placed yep, them there? They're there. Somebody placed them there. Okay. So then I tell Devin, okay, wait. I like we see it going, and we're like, okay, I figure out the way around them. Just target a moon, target another planet. So you warp and you alter but here's your trajectory. The thing, so is not... I did that. Oh yeah. I did that, and it still pumped me into the middle of this. You and have I... to get lucky though, because you have to like know yeah. where it is and make sure. I'm you... a pretty beefy ship. And it took a good, like, so I warped in, and I'm like... So we, we've been riding for a while. Like, yeah. We maybe made, like, two, th- two million, two, three million. Like, yeah. like okay, whatever. That was, I, we tried it. It was Not good. a bad amount. Warped in, got hit by this warp disruptor, and was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking dude, just outside of my range. My maximum range is, like, maybe 40 kilometers. He's 41. And he's just, he is... I have a question. In EVE, is there a way for him to, like, get it like a, like a readout on your ship and be, like, range 40 and then jump to 41? Yep. He can know, yeah. Great. It, like, he, well, there's no readout, but Fucking you, space pirate. You, you yeah. can know by being like, okay, he's a battle cruiser class. He's got missiles. Missiles only hit at okay, this Okay, wait range. a minute. So this is him deducting. Maybe. Yes. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Yes. Exactly 40. 41. I hit in, and I'm like, I automatically lock him just out of habit and just like start, just fired a whole like missile salvo off. And they're all just like right in front of him. He fucking just like hits. Obviously, the dude was like, ha, hits his one button. He's got long missile range, like uh, long range missiles, fires at me. I'm pretty tanky, and that's how I built my ship. So it's taken like probably like a minute and a half to two minutes for this dude to try and take me out. And I'm trying to warp out of this warp zone, just like <laughs> all the while he's firing missiles. All the here. while he's firing missiles at me. I'm like, oh my god. Then there's this other uh, like electronic warfare ship happening, and it's circling me, just like so zip. you can't warp, C- can't warp, can't move. Dude's circling me. He's so fast. He's outrunning my missiles and just like doing it. Third dude just spawns in, and I'm just like, why, why? What does he do? <laughs> he rolls up and bumps me. Didn't attack me. Just. Yeah, that's the ultimate insult right there. What are you going to do about it? So I have a question. I Did got you both up. arrive at this spot at the same time? And Richie I, I managed warped. to alter and get out, but you were just like, I'm going to... I was... The, so the pirates got there like a split second after Richie got out? Like, is that the No, they were waiting. Here? Yeah. So what happened to you? I, I, I had jumped through the, the thingy, and Devin's like, oh, I'm caught. I was like, what? That's I was going through the gate. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? And then he started saying, like, yo, I'm getting bombed by like two, three dudes. I was like, like I could go back in there... And try and help, but it sounds like these dudes are fucking like set up. He's like, yo, yeah, war- electronic warfare and pirates. shit. I'm like, no, these dudes, these dudes, legit, all they did, like they had this down to a T where it was like one dude fucking 41 kilometers out knew what he was doing. Everybody so, else is so what I'm what I'm really asking here is how far were you from Riccio when you got attacked? I was a, I was just on the other side of a gate, but I got the fuck out of there because <laughs> there was a, like we, he was still in Nullsec. The next one was Nullsec as well. And then it was low sec, and then, then high, high sec. So we were like a few jumps away. So if they, if I were like to hop in and shoot him, and then warp out, they'd just be like, "No, man, we're fucking chasing. you. You are gonna die." That electronic warfare ship would catch <laughs> yeah. you. Before be like, you "Oh, you're warping? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no." While well, they're bombing him, so I'd be like, "I, I just fucking." But the worst is out. And you ran. know how you were talking about like 
that minute of like, uh, that's what this fucking was. two minutes of me just being like, <laughs> can make it, can make it, can make it, can make it. But there was a good point. They these guys use drones, and there were each guy carries five drones. I managed to blow up uh, four out of the fifteen drones that were attacking me. Each one of those are like five million isks. So I was like, okay. All right, I'm rolling it by the end of money, the Make it making a little bit of a fucking uh, point here I'm that not, I'm not going down without a out of fight. I hate to break it to you, Devin. I know they probably that. looted your corpse oh, yeah. and then salvaged the ship. Oh yeah, they took. And they're the, like yeah. fifty mil. <laughs> yep, but you know what? Yeah, he he lessened the take. The Devin's what he's lessened saying. the Devin's take. been learning the lessons though. That's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know. It's it, a little painful, but at the same time, my insurance was just like. The value of that ship okay. is back to you. Here's I'm fifty like, million. Okay, so it's all right. Go buy another one. But I'm uh, definitely these, gonna. These stories are great. But they're definitely. I wish, I wish I had time to play. But with here's you guys. the thing: is like the whole time we were going through, like the first time we were riding and stuff, we were super paranoid, like really fucking paranoid about people like rolling up on us, doing exactly, that. doing exactly that. And then the one time we're like, yeah, all right, we're done. Let's, let's fucking go back. Like super relaxed and stuff. Fucking just fucked up. <laughs> just completely fucked up. Just no fair. Riccio mm-hmm. seems to have the best luck. Oh, oh yeah. You want to speak of good luck? We were reading, and then I was like, oh, fuck, I, f- I lost. I forgot my drones here. Like, I, I warped away. My drones were just chilling in space. Like, oh, no. Now we're Oh, you man. didn't, like, pull them back yeah. in? So Devin was like, I don't know if you get away. And I'm just sitting there, and this one guy's like, <clears throat> like, we were ratting, people warped in, and we kept warping out, and they're from the same, like, corporation. <laughs> yeah, like, but they were, like, like, monitoring us. So we're weird. like, okay, just, they're, like, fucking I get ready to ships. lock on them. <laughs> like, they, they, they were stealth bombers. I checked it after. Oh, okay. So then, uh, anyway, that's what the Manticore is. And, um, but that was, like, I came back and they're like, oh, forgot your drones. Yeah, those stupid drones. I'm like, oh, God, like, what the fuck? Because I'm warping alone. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Turns out, like, the two dudes, like, just come in. They just start talking about how they used to rat in the same ship that we're doing. Like, yeah, that thing is sick for tanking. I had my outfit. Then they're, like, talking to me. I'm like. Where's the entire time you were yeah, paranoid? I'm just like, you yeah, and I just, I just get my marks. drones. I leave them. Like, oh, well, you guys take it. Like, oh, sweet. They send me, like, contact requests. And it says, like, oh, yeah, they're good standing. I'm like. The yeah. All right. Sick. Happened. Eve. Let's do this. And then, Dead so normally this would not have happened, right? Space looted. Yeah. <laughs> I could. I have good luck in Counter Strike. He has good luck in Eve. And there's because there's two rules in Eve, and apparently they go. The first one is don't trust anybody, and the second one is don't fly, which you can't like afford to lose. Yeah. And that's it. That's the only thing that people tell you in it's that the game. The only two rules. Like, that's what I'm just like. I just want to get my drones. I just want to get my drones. I just want to get out of here. You guys keep talking. I'm just gonna keep it super awesome. And if you go into like <laughs> the local chat and they do a zero and a seven, if they were like, "Okay, man, see you later," missile launch. Yeah, just like, <laughs> oh, talk to you guys later. Warp scramble, like, oh fuck. But um, <laughs> yeah. No, if if you go into local chat, people do zero and seven, which is like a dude standing in like a salute. salute? So you like people go salute. You got you got to be on point with like you know, like saluting back and like doing like nice people and being good because people are, like. They don't take offense time, to that shit. Not only will they take offense, but if they know they have a better ship, like to them, there's, there's the, no consequence. The, they're just like, all right, well, I'm just gonna hit control. A click, missile costs or, what? A dollar? Okay. Yeah, like, and you're done. Like, they just <laughs> didn't do that salute, or you didn't just make me happy for some reason. You're Jesus. getting blown up. Yeah. Um. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. It's it's, it's ruthless. It's, yeah. It's it's space ruthless. Space anarchy. It's insane. It's such uh, a honestly. Such a I, cool yeah, I was super bummed. Like, I was less bummed out by losing my ship in Nullsec than. Like getting fucked up in high sec, but losing it in null sec, I was kind of like, yeah, oh shit, I lost it. But at the same time, I was like, sweet. It was just good. It was really nice. But uh, yeah, yeah. Dan, a- you, you say you don't have much time for Eve. Zaler's been playing for. <laughs> it's not, not not to tell you to like, hey, dude, you gotta come. <coughs> and, you gotta come and play this. Well, I actually have it. I just haven't. Yeah. So so Zyler, booted it up. Zyler, he's in the yeah. chat right now, uh, and I think he's been playing for about two, three weeks, and he, like, knowing what you should skill up in, because it's passive, and even if you're not playing, you're, you're gaining skill, he okay. has been able to roll with us, and my, my account's like six months deep of, of spell, uh, spell points, skill points, Mine's Devin's like, like a few months, like three or uh, something. Yeah, I'm like four months deep or something like that. Yeah, and in, <laughs> in two or three weeks, he's picked the skills good enough to just... Um, roll with it. Yeah, roll with us, pretty much. Not Not as well... Like, because there's like okay, you can use missiles, but then there's other skills you can get. Like now your missiles shoot faster, they lock on quicker, they go faster, right? And all that stuff. Um, but so like, he doesn't have any of those. But the fact that like in two weeks you can roll with people and do some pretty interesting stuff is pretty neat. Yeah, and, and the fact oh. that you wouldn't be starting out like yeah, I'd be starting at, at base for skill points, <laughs> but you would have a group of people to kind of like roll with and and hang out with 
definitely would help out. And like when nobody else is on, I just go on mine, and it's completely passive. <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, the problem with that is that you guys are mostly playing in the day. You could honestly <laughs> splash top Eve to your iPad and play on your iPad if you were just the, yeah, but I'm I would at work. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I, w- I, I wouldn't, don't have chill time. Plus, I wouldn't do that, like, because uh, it could be like, yeah, mining, you look away. Where's my ship? <laughs> <laughs> if if you're not. Apparently, you can't do that, but it's happened to us. But Yeah. yeah. It's pretty fucked, but it's pretty sweet. Plus that game is real crazy. It's really weird, like, exiting out of a, like, a starship, like a station, or st- like a, just a space station, and you're just undocking, and you just get hit by something. You're like, how the fuck? Like, who, who just did that? And how did you do that without just <laughs> getting annihilated by something? I don't know. The worst was um, there. There's these guys who are at war with a whatever corp I'm with, and they fly around the treasury that I'm normally at, and they constantly will like fly around, fly around, fly around, and then somebody because they've got like a little flashing skull on them like, will oh, just go and mess them up. Uh-huh. And here's exactly what they've been doing: is they've been flying around like level one ships, and I watch this happen. Got blown up. Capsule goes back into the tre- treasury, and they come out with like tech three ships and just mess up whoever attacked them like it's just like it's just baiting them it's like oh yeah the ship is like 500 i'm flying around like kind of annoying you kind of annoying you oh you attacked me you blew up that ship all right here's my big behemoth like <laughs> and, and so i was i was gonna join in and attack these guys and then like their tech three ship like flew out and i was like good thing i didn't fire oh, a fucking missile. okay um what's crazy is that Devin and i have kind of we've don't we did we dive we dived in we dove in we dove into like Ratting, we did mining. Uh, I've tried a little bit of industry stuff for crafting, but that stuff's a little crazy because you have to find the blueprints or make the blueprints and then you can do all this crazy stuff. But um, <clears throat> since we started ratting, which is a bit more combat heavy, I looked into a little bit of PvP to see what it's like. And there's people who have like PvP videos out there for Eve. And you think Eve, okay, it's probably not that cool to watch. But it's interesting how much like thought goes into being able to PvP in Eve. Like people normally what they do is they'll take the small, super fast ships. Yeah. And they'll like warp into low sec. <clears throat> Say like what Devin had going on, where there's three ships there. They will fly as close as they can if they know the range to kind of get people to go like, oh man, they're totally in range. We could do that. Then he boosts as far as he can while maintaining just the, like a perfect, like you have, to, you have to know everything about all the ships pretty much. And you boost to the point where you know, okay, I'm in like a, a super fast frigate and those are mostly battle cruisers. If I go just enough speed to get their frigates to just like be going too fast where they're now separated... Then, like, I'm going to turn around, hit them with the scramble, like, do, like, some crazy shit while dodging because you know that, if, like, okay, if I boost when I know their, like, salvo's about to go off, I get that extra, like, uh, dodge on. Just crazy shit. And this guy's just like, yeah, I made this video to kind of, like, explain what's going through my mind as I'm going through this. So he was commenting on, like, a post f- post commentary on a footage. And it was just like, holy shit. And you have to know, like, the cloak timers and, like, when you're supposed to be able to lock on. All this, like, insane shit. And the, the way I describe Launch them- missiles as you're, like going to pass a dude because you're both going too fast and you do like that rebound weird crap it's this it so seems like, insane um, i want to jump into that but. what i ended up equating my knowledge to is before i thought who had ever had the biggest hammer would like win the it's, battle yeah, no. it's not that case at all you could have a fucking like electronic warfare ship that is just like worth nothing worth like 15 million if that that thing can fuck up a ship worth like 250 million in a heartbeat just like completely scramble them and go at them it's ridiculous is it more just in terms of how people actually play it versus what it is kind of thing it's like a crazy rock paper scissors thing like you can have a huge ship but if you have something that's really can like fuck up what you use don't even let you don't even go at it it's like it's it's being able to hit that perfect like tag team of like okay this this counters this this counters this if i go in at this time then it's this specific thing like it's just it's really not specific, but like you got to know your stuff. And if you don't know your stuff, you're going to get messed up real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. E- Eve is insane. I-, I see a fedo here in the chat saying, I tried Eve once, but the UI confused me so much. The UI at first is pretty crazy. Um, but I find the amount of time to get in there and kind of like if, if you, if you have someone to imagine you load in and you have someone going like, okay, that's what that is. That's all you use that for. This is what this is. Like, don't even worry about that stuff. This is all this extra shit on the side here. You don't use any of that unless like randomly once a fucking blue moon, you're going to have to, Oh, I'm going to have to create a contract or like do like weird stuff like that. Um, UI is not so daunting once you kind of know 
what is actually useful and what's just there for the people who are in like massive corpse and need to use like really specific weird shit. Um, but yeah, no, I, I mean, Devin and I have had a ton of a ton of fun playing this, and we like encourage anybody who wants to try it out, even if you feel like you if you're afraid to jump in because it seems intense, give it a shot, and then message Devin and I. I mean, we don't know a lot of stuff about this game, but we know enough to get started. Yeah, we can help you out and be like, all right, well, here's like some super training mini stuff. Go use this crap. You did perfect. Use this ship if you're going that to start off with. And all. I don't know. We can we help you guys out if you guys want to try it. If, if like that's what's stopping you is hearing all the people talking about like, how crazy and com- complicated it is then, or complex. It's just like hop in. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. If, if you're really worried about it, um, kind of scratch the surface, pick out something, like pick a ship that you think looks neat. And just learn everything you can about that ship. And, like, focus so intensely on it. And then, you know, like, then you're good to go. So it's it's kind of like picking and choosing. Because there's so much data, like, so many ships, so many variations. They just get overwhelmed. But you just need to, like, pick a certain thing and go for it. Yeah. It's crazy. It's really awesome. It it's sounds amazing. It's really neat. Sounds like you guys are getting so much more into it too. Yeah, yeah it's pretty satisfying. Like it's, it's gone. I to... look forward to the <clears throat> Unity Eve hour. <laughs> the e- Eve Eve Unity. The eventual Eve hour. Eve, Eve Unity. I can't wait for Eve Rubicon. That every patch seems to get more people into it. So maybe I can pull people in and be like, "You, you guys got to start now. That patch is crazy. Now they have that crazy thing where like subscriptions are less and all that stuff." So, the but Eve, the Eve Unity hour. <clears throat> The, the booty. Where you guys talk about your crazy stories because yeah. that's some of the best story time we've had on this podcast. But uh, so that's all I want to say. Yeah, from the heart. He's great. He's pretty great. Yeah, but it's gone to the point where like normally I'd I'd, buy, I'd always buy a three month sub. The last two months would be me like log in randomly and be like, okay, I'm gonna get these skills. Just every few days, just do that. To the point where it's like, I know when this sub, at least so far, I know when this sub is gonna end. I am fucking back into that shit. Like another three months. Let's just, let's go. Yep. Because I do have, they have other options? So more than three months, kind of thing, or you, are you can stuck? have one month, three months, six months, and a year. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think I think it, it gets cheaper. Like if you're buying one month, it's fifteen bucks. If you're buying three months, technically each month is like twelve dollars, and it goes to like ten or something. But okay. um, yeah, it, that it's makes sense. yeah, it's it's pretty great. Um, yeah, it's so much fun. Like it's crazy. Like right now, I've I've maybe sunk technically like. Eight or eight hours ish, eight months ish of spell uh, spell points. I would say it's SP anyway, skill, skill points, points into it. But people who've been playing for years have like 150 million, like just just insane amounts. Where you're just like, holy shit! And I I want to one day not get to 150 million, but get to like a like high 50, amount. 50 ish would be cool because I feel like man, whatever ships I want to use, I could probably use them really fucking crazily. And and yeah. Yep. Cool Eve. stuff. Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Kumar, we haven't heard you talking about. What have you been playing this week? The only new game that I've played is uh, is Runner 2 because it was on Plus. Yeah. What do you think of that game? It's kind of cool. I had no idea. Like, I never played the original, so this was completely new to me. I really didn't know what to expect. Okay. But I can see how it gets really crazy after they start adding on all the different obstacles and remembering what's... I mean, you, you get to... I'm, I'm playing it on the... Not the hardest setting, but I think the second yeah. the hardest. That's the way to play. So, it. That's the way to play it. That's what I figured. But people recommend that. What's the difference that, so. in the difficulty settings? Um, More it's stuff. cool, just in terms of uh, like it's a. I, I want to call it a mindless a mindless runner, but it's really not. <laughs> you have yeah, to pay so to pay very close attention to it. Did you unlock the ability to dance yet as you're running? No, not yet. <laughs> because you know when you're playing and people have like normal ass scores. Like okay, yeah, no, this is your neck and neck. Yeah. At one point, it unlocks the ability to run uh, to dance. So as you're running, uh, if ever you feel there's a is an open point in time where there's nothing coming at you, you have like just that one second. You hit the right trigger or something on the PC. Uh, at okay. least when I'm playing with the controller, and your dude will do his dance. So depending on which character you have, he has like gonna do the worm while he's running, or like do some robot backwards or some crazy shit. And okay. that gives you extra points, and I think gives you a multiplier. Okay. So it becomes to the point where like you're trying to dance, and then it's like, oh shit, I gotta jump over this block, so I can't do it because you can't cancel out of it. Yeah, and you start going through levels and trying to get a shit ton of so points. It's a huge but, risk to do it, I guess. Yeah, but uh, I love the music in that game. Oh my god! Well, I've only played it without any sound, so I'm. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I'm looking forward to every finally... jump you're doing, or every deflection, or every slide, or kick, or whatever the hell you're doing. Yeah, is like in time with a really awesome beat. Oh, I and... got um, I got Bit Trip Saga <clears throat> while it was on sale 
on the 3DS eShop. Is the original runner like kind of still good? Yeah, the original runner is. I haven't, I haven't even touched the game. The original one was an 8 bit, right? Yeah, it should look kind of, yeah. That style, yeah. It, um, I really, I finished Run, Runner 1, which I was really proud of because it gets fucking really hard at the end of it. Um, the music is always great in those games. Um, actually, you know what? I'd say Bit Trip Runner is, out of all the Bit Trip games that they've made, I think Runner has always been my favorite. I mean, I've tried Void, which was really hard and I couldn't really do it. Bit Trip, um, the, 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 the Pong ish one. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Beat? Uh, just that just yeah, Bit Trip Beat? Bit Trip Beat. Um, that what one was I, that, that weird one that we watched you play with like was the, that void? the lines that was beat and stuff no the lines the lines was was uh the, the flashing lines I think that was like hit the void that was void yeah or whatever that v one is this the, the bit trip say is everything but um two two Isn't runner yeah. two yeah. yeah um yeah those are all great so I guess all the eight bit looking ones because runner two doesn't look at all eight bit style no no runner two is narrated by the dude who does the Mario voice is it actually Okay, I guess. He, okay, when you load up the game before you even get to the menu, he yeah. goes like, "I'm Charles what, uh, Mar- Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet, and this is Bit Trip Runner Two. Like he starts off just by blasting that out before you hear anything else, and then the music kicks in and everything, and it's just him I, narrating. I still haven't heard any of that. You got it. It's the greatest. It's the greatest. Bit okay. Trip Runner Two is amazing. Um, Why you been fucking playing the game, Kumar? Why? No sound. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I'm playing it with no sound. I'm all the bit trip right games, now as we speak. All the bit trip games are all about music. It's all about. He's music. squandering his bit trip experience right now. <laughs> Kumar, I want you. I want you to see how much fun you're having right now, and then the second you can have sound, I want you to go back to one of the levels you've done and maybe enjoyed some of the combos that you had to go through. Yeah, listen to it sound. Be like, damn. <laughs> I'm making this thing my bitch. Yeah. Yeah. The game, the game is pretty simple when you it starts off. You make every game your bitch. <laughs> Well, the game starts off easy because it's like you slide, you jump. And then you slide, jump. You have to jump, kick. Then well, right jump, now slide, I kick, have... It's like probably weird... in like World 8. Yeah. yeah. Right no, now I'm... No, no, I'm right at the end of World 1 and I've per- I've gotten a perfect on every one yeah. so far. You're still in the clouds and uh, stuff? stuff? Yeah. So right now I think the only things that I can do are... Uh, I can jump, block, slide, kick. And um, I think those are the only ones right now. Yeah. You'll see when you get to the um, the second. I can imagine world. that it's going to get pretty intense. Well, you, you also get uh, certain times the map is just going to be like, hey, do you want to go up and down? It has like a skull or like a happy face or something. And it's like, all right, you yeah, need like to go a the green hard arrow route. and a red arrow, right? Yeah, the red arrow is always the harder route, and those ones are usually the most fun. It's like wh- when nuts. you're not hitting a button, it's probably because you're like jumping and you're about to land, and you're going to have to do something instantly, and you get some. I don't know. It's really fun. I love the I love the the way that game is. But um, well, yeah, you, it you got it for kind free. Of you into things. Yeah, getting it for free is also sick. That PlayStation Plus, you guys. Yep, it's it real good. Awesome, it's so good. What else was on uh, this week? It was uh, this Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus. Colossus, Kingdoms of Amalur. Oh yeah, it's up there. That was last week, though, right? Yeah. There was there's a third else, title. Some, I feel like something else this week. What was this week? Hang on, I'll check. Cause, Two seconds. Because I, cause I downloaded just all three. Like two of them. days ago. Yeah. It was Bit Trip, Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, and Galaga Legions. Oh, DX. that's what it was. No, no, there's there was another. Po- Poker Night Two. Oh, that was this oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's right. How was Poker Night? Have you guys played that? I saw that news, Richio. Um, I played the original one on PC for a little bit. And? It's okay. You liked it? I guess, yeah. yeah. It's just poker, really. It's poker and dialogue. So it's like a Poker Night? Yep. Yeah. At, at the inventory, you could say. Um, nice. sorry, I got zoned in. Added something else in the news. I, I figured you would have had that news article, Richio. I heard about it earlier today. If I hear about something while I'm busy as fuck at work, Do it. I figured you hear about yeah. it. Yeah. Not, not with Eve anymore, man. So what else have you been playing, Richio? What else have I been playing? Oh, man. You got Eve? I played some Beyond. Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, I watched you play that on your cast um, a bit. La, man. La, la, Are you still liking la, 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 la. it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything about it, Dan. Don't worry. Um, I, I really like it. Um, oh, you like it? Fucking spoilers! Oh, Jesus sorry, Christ! Sorry, Dan. No. Um, you know how in Heavy Rain it had that thing where it's like I'm just gonna nudge that controller and it's gonna be like reaching. Do you, do you mean the, the like the box like, filling up slowly? Well, there's no box filling up. There's, the there's all there is is and... white dots and you just push towards them. There's no. It doesn't tell you like that. There's just that. That's the button. Also, you can plug your iPhone into. Do you it. ever have to hold for? Yeah, you have to Button, do weird shit like great. that. But other other than in those cutscenes, there's no buttons. There's just kind of like push, 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 push. So, um, Willem Dafoe is in that game. Yeah. Spoilers. Um, no, he's he's on the he's on the <laughs> fucking on the box fucking with a crazy box. face. Yeah. I understand. Um, but uh, he's like, take this book, 
and he's just like in this car and he's just smiling at me. Is this what you showed me, Richie? Yeah, that's yeah. so why I showed. On, yeah, so Willem Dafoe's face in the back of the box. It's intense. Um, so he's just like, um, here, take this book. So I slowly start easing it, and then you have uh, Ellen Page, I forget her name, uh, f- uh, Jody, Jody, reaching towards it. But they're like moving so slow that like you can't even tell they're moving. But like Willem the, Dafoe's the, face is like. <laughs> but then there's a guy in the background, background gardening, <laughs> just cutting his hedges <laughs> full speed, but at regular like, speed too. You just have like Jody and just him just reaching in their faces slowly making whatever the hell the next word is. They're like, it's wonderful. And then you hand it to him. It's like, oh, sweet. All right. I'm just going to get out of the car now. And the dude still sits in the back, just cutting his head. Just, I'm like, this game is fantastic. I love being able to control time. <laughs> um, yeah. Localized time yeah. control. As well as, uh, not to spoil anything, Dan, it's not really a spoiler, but um, it's not a story thing. But I can't think of any point in Heavy Rain. Like, you'd make a choice, and then you'd just be, like, going down that path. Yeah. Um, it seems, at least so far in the start, it'll be like, hey, do you want to be, like, a douchebag? Do you want to be a good person? Then you'll go, like, douchebag to the point where it's like, yo, people are either about to, like, die or something's going to happen. Like, it's about to get fucking serious. And then you kind of get that point where, like, all right, you know, I, I've done enough to you guys. Time to back out. Like, you, you, you're you not shoved directly down path. So I think if you go good, you can also kind of, like, be a shithead a little bit and like just even so this, this weird it always seems we're doing that stuff in heavy rain would be like yo this character's gonna die if yeah it's like I, if i yeah. go crazy he's gonna fucking just be terrible and get murdered or something but yeah yeah and, and this one it seems like you can kind of it seems to end in the same so, point so are there kind of less tense moments then because i feel like a lot of what made heavy rain great was the like just the kind of unknown about that game where like i don't know what's gonna happen next you know, I don't know if this is like the end for this character or if I can actually do something about it. There's no way to die in this one so far. So is that. Um, well, can you get game over? Or is it just like. I haven't. I, I went to like a scene where I was like, oh, you got to be running now. And uh, the way the controls work is like, it'll. There's, most of the time, unless you have to do like, the holding stuff, it'll just kind of either have the arrow or it'll just be like, the game just goes slow motion. And then you're just looking at Jody and you're like, Okay, her knee is lifting upwards, but she's running forward, so I have to go forward. And it's like, no, she's going upwards! And she'll, like, hit the ground and, like, fall. It's like, she's trying to climb up. And it's like, okay, she's going up, but she's pushing forward still. Nope, she's getting up! And then, like, she'll fucking tumble and do something. But it's, I kept failing, like, six in a row, and she just was getting fucked up, but she just kept going. So I don't think there's really a way to fail, but I maybe I just really I need like- to miss everything. Dire consequences from fucking up quick time events in Heavy Rain. In Heavy Rain, it would just be like that character's out, boom, yeah. <laughs> just <the> story's <laughs> over. Uh, none, none of that. But I think have, that's... have we all played Heavy Rain here? I haven't. No, neither. Really, Kumar? I was never interested. Yeah, I was just never interested. We know what they're playing for the marathon. That would be like the whole marathon. Wait, did Devin say no as no, well? He said no. No, I haven't. I watched a body play because of it. I would really love to watch someone play Heavy Rain for the first time again. Because I feel like we'll once do that you... during the marathon, if yeah, zombies that... down, we'll do yeah, that. That would be great. Yeah. Although I almost feel like you guys should each have your own experience of that game because I feel like there's so many. Oh, different you can make your own decisions and, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it's kind of up to whoever's draw, holding the controller draw. because everything is really quick. Oh, uh, okay. Plus, it'd be really cool to see. We can we can actually do that. Like we can both because I'll probably bring my PS3. So that's if we true. both have something set up where make we're sure sitting on that, you're on that not table. on TVs that we you guys can see like oh you did that okay I'm gonna yeah. do this when I get there like I don't know yeah you literally want to have like an like I want to watch one of you play Heavy Rain yeah. at a time yeah. like I don't want both of them like oh okay yeah. it's it's a crazy experience but I don't I can't have it again fair enough because once once you play that game once it's there's so many weird different combinations of choices and stuff uh, and like it feels unique to you yeah that's why I I don't like I don't have a copy of the game anymore I don't I I got rid of it cuz I just I can't bring myself to play it again and see the other stuff that could happen I, you have to play through the whole game to get the other endings no or you can, can, you can example, jump in at like, like chapter up. points yeah but okay I remember um my dad came over during uh, I think it was like last Christmas and he was playing through it and um, I was sitting down here and I was, I was doing whatever the hell I was doing on my PC. And I was kind of going over. I'm like, okay. Like, to me, I was bored at first because he seemed to be playing the exact same way as me. And then at like one point, he was, I don't know, maybe like three quarters of the way through. And I look up and I see one of the characters like just get killed off because he fails the thing. And then it just kind of does like fade out and just continues the story. And I'm just like, 
fucking quit whatever I'm doing. I sit on the couch. I'm like, what the fuck is going to be different now? And I'm yeah, just like, I'm so that locked character in. character is done. Yes. And then, like, he'd get to parts. And I'm like, holy shit, if that person was still there. I remember when my game, like, that crazy shit was going on. And just, like, I was like. It's pretty cool. It does some cool shit. It's pretty cool. Uh, Beyond does not seem to be like that. Um, except for it has multiple endings, apparently. I just don't know how much they vary. But, uh, no. Beyond is. You make. It's like, good. I just want to exp- I want to experience heavy rain for the first time again. Beyond will be that feeling. It Beyond has a good feeling so of Since there's a place open right now, we can buy this on the way home. <laughs> but Beyond has a, a good feeling of I don't know what the fuck is going on right now, and it slowly teaches you through some really weird ways, but uh I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm really enjoying it. It feels it feels weird, but I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a great thing to just sit down and kind of like play like it's a movie. Which is cool. great. Especially if there's no failing, you don't be like, oh, fuck, now i got to redo the scene. It just keeps well, going. that was the incredible part about Heavy Rain is that if you failed a part... Yeah. Like, th- there are entire sequences in Heavy Rain that I never saw. Yeah. Because I didn't fail a part or I failed a part. Yeah. You know? it's It just keeps going. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Um, it's not that long either. Yeah. No, it's about f- five or six hours. Six or seven, yeah, but seven, for like... Seven, yeah. I thought it was like a 15 to 20 hour Yeah, I thing. thought it was a pretty you, you hefty You can roll one. through it pretty quick if... Oh, if you just like if if you feel that whatever happens in the scene is yours now and you own it, yeah, well, that's, you keep that's how I played it. Yeah. Was just it was almost in like one sitting when yeah. I played it. It was just like go go go. I, this happened. This happened. You have to make this decision. Okay, live with it. Go go go. And that's that's how, the proper way but, to experience that game. There's, you that's, should never reload a save. That's how my dad rain. was doing it, except for at one point near the like end of Heavy Rain, he was just playing. It was just like doing something like. Roll the six axis or something, and he's like trying to do it. And he's like, I can't fucking do it. I can't. And he's getting like visibly angry. Like, can't fucking do it. Like, and then he just his character like died at the end. He's like, there's there's no there's no fucking way that's gonna be that end. <laughs> he just like <laughs> puts the hell out and he goes back and starts it. He was um, patient up until that point. Yeah, because because like the deaths were his own. Like he's like, oh okay, that was a really tough part. Like I I deserve that fail. But okay. there it was just like I'm I'm fucking doing it. Like what is happening with the six axis bullshit? Just complete <laughs> anger. It was great. Nice. But um, well, yeah, there's no, like it, like stuff can happen suddenly in that oh, game yeah. if you miss a bus button prompt. Yeah. Shit shit just goes down. See that that's what's cool about Beyond so far is that you don't feel that, but instead like you'll feel and you feel like that sense of like, oh shit. But there's no like oh shit now I gotta restart this or oh shit now I like okay I fucked up gotta restart. You just feel like tense and crazy. And then you just roll with the rest of the story and it just keeps going and going and going, which is awesome. Um, so it's different. You feel like maybe you don't have as much control over the outcome, but you do still feel very much a part of like the story as you're going through it, which is awesome. Sweet. If that makes sense. I think it does. But anyway. Yep. Yeah, I played, uh, I played Beyond. Um, God damn it, Heavy Rain. And just How do you compare it to Heavy Rain? Talking about people at fucking... It's really good. It's good. Talking to people <clears throat> at work and stuff about like when everyone had finished it, just like... Comparing the little nuances of like the differences and stuff, we should talk about our endings after these guys are yeah yeah out of the hearing range and things. <laughs> but but um, uh, Riccio, how do you compare? Um, what do you call it? Beyond to Heavy Rain? Um, very much the same style of game. Yeah, I I'm gonna say it. I'm not like the <clears throat> smartest dude. So people calling out like, yo, that's a fucking plot hole. That's bullshit. Like, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm just like, whatever you're telling me, game, is Yeah, truth. I'm absorbing this experience. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like, we, we're we going to build this machine. Like, I'm just like, wait, that's not possible. It's just like, yeah, fuck it. Whatever's happening, totally in. That's I don't give a shit. You didn't tell me science. I don't care. It's going. Um, so, I don't know. To me, it's really awesome. It's It's been, it's pretty... It's pretty good. It it starts off a little bit slower than I thought, but uh, it's heavy rain starts off slow as fuck. See, that's the thing is this one starts off slow, but what's going on is interesting. So you're you're still wanting to go through it. Well, I think heavy rain is a good setup, but it's still yeah. like, oh my god, this yeah. is like well, heavy rain. What within, is going on within right fifteen now? twenty minutes? You're just like, okay, now I see what's oh. happened. Yes, but yeah, the start of that is just like what? Yeah, but uh, you yeah, know, <laughs> am it's, I even it's... playing this? Sims game right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty good. It's I it's good. If you liked Heavy Rain, there's no reason why you wouldn't enjoy it Beyond, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, I played a little bit of Betrayer. 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 Um, which is a a Steam early access game uh, that we tried a really long time ago, kind of, and uh, <laughs> we went back to it. We got a patch. I was like, hey, didn't let's... record the best dry run we've ever done. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, 
Anyways, had went a back special into it. place. Went back into it. Not in my heart. I don't know what's different because we didn't get far in that quote unquote unhappened dry dry run. Not happened, dry run. Um, the mystical betrayer dry run. Yeah, that game is crazy. Um, <clears throat> you listen to like whispers and then you go towards them to figure out like things like that fucking ghosts bell, man. That Whatever. are stu- yeah. Ghosts, Whatever. That, that that bell has to do with it, but like you, you have a bell, but you listen to whispers as you hit the bell, and then you can see like okay, there's ghosts that need that are like messed up that you have to go figure out clues of how they died to separate them from the world. But there's also like weird kind of like crafting weird shit I think or loot that you can buy like crazy stuff it kind of feels like Skyrim because there's also like fast traveling and oh, that was a black and white one with it the is. red ending yeah, oh, but, yeah. yeah. So, that was so the betrayer. best shit we ever yeah, so damn it record yeah so, so uh. you, also, you also get loot for killing things and fighting stuff and then if you die you drop your loot and it does that Diablo thing where like okay now you got a corpse <clears> run but not really corpse run you just have all your weapons, just don't have the ammo and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and if you get to your corpse, you pick it up, you get your loot, you get your money, you get your everything back. But if you die before you get to it, it's gone. Um, We're going to keep doing Unity Gaming for years, and my biggest regret is going to be is continue to be that we didn't record us experiencing Betrayer for the first time. It was just us talking about Betrayer. I'm sorry. So wonderful. I'm sorry. Why'd you have to boot it up randomly, Richie? Yeah. Why'd sorry. you have to do that? Go on to what else you played. I'm sorry. Not only that, but it <laughs> delayed our podcast by like an hour and a half. <laughs> it was so day. interesting to look at. It was honestly so interesting to look at. Um, but Betrayer, uh, check it out. Check it out. But not on our dry run. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Still, still a sore spot for you, right, Dan? Yeah, no, that... The, Seriously, you don't the understand. The content we would have produced would have been some of our best ever. Yeah. Sorry. I feel like anytime we're playing a game, all three of us just watching it, we should have the mics on. That's ne- that never happens except for Betrayer. Yeah, and that, it, it betrayed us. <laughs> Why? <laughs> anyway, so I started playing this other game that was graciously donated to me uh, by MCP, who's a bro. Um, he seems to donate a lot of uh, indie games that I'm just I'd never heard of oh, or wouldn't have bought. Actually, oh cool. I uh, can I can I say one thing before I forget? Sure. sure. I also checked out Bleed for the first time. Bleed. Have oh, you heard about Bleed? Yeah. Well, I've, I've, I know that them to be donated. Was it you or Devin? What's Bleed? No, I have Bleed. You got Bleed? Okay. What's Bleed? Yeah. So it's basically a twin stick shooter, but in an, like an adventure style kind of thing. It sort of reminds me of Devil May Cry in certain aspects because depending on what your what your uh, your combos are like, it'll say like awesome, fantastic, or whatever. Uh, but it's got this like awesome little charm to it. Have you seen any videos of it? Like, no, you guys actually, you know what? I'm like, gonna I'm gonna look it up so we have a bit of a idea of what you're talking about here. I think you can pick characters too, if I remember correctly. I only went through the first two levels. Okay. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> um, how much? So, so much fun. You had fun with it though. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. yeah, okay, this fucking blue. game. Yeah, that, blue, that game. I remember that game. I've it's seen a bunch awesome. of this game. Yeah. Yeah, that game's all right. Yeah. That looks pretty sweet. It's such a cool little shooter. But anyways, I'm sorry. Continue. That's okay. Um, yeah, so SMCP donated um, a game called Knock Knock, which has been the weirdest game I've played in a while. Um, pretty much what happens is you're like this, you know what, I can't tell, but you're like an old man or something, and you wake up in this house, or you wake up in your house, and you have a candle lit What thing. is it, your house? Seriously, I don't know. So you you wake up and he's just like, he, okay. There's no voice acting. There's writing, but the voice acting is like him going. Didn't you talk about this last week? No, I hadn't played it till like this weekend. Um, I feel like a no. He had a different door related super... game. Oh yeah, there's doorways. Door- doorways. Doorways. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's something door related. So I totally we have thought some it was dumb. Great doorway <clears throat> jokes. I don't remember. I have to go listen to last week's podcast. Tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so when Knock Knock, oh, he's like, me, 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 me. And then uh, it's a game that you have to play with headphones. It's it's it's, it's 2D. The art, art style kind of looks like it's um, Don't Starve, um, which kind of looks crazy. I was like, oh, this, I wonder if it's made by Clay. No, it's not. Um, and you kind of walk through this house. So it's it's like, you know, it's 2D. And uh, you, you're kind of... Um, Wait, so it does like me, 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 me for the voices? Yeah, he's like me, 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 But in Don't Starve, it's like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same I like, the trump- I like the trumpets in, in, in Don't Starve, though. But, I gotta um, make a soundboard for you guys. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> balls. No, uh, anyway. Um, there you go. Perfect. perfect. Gold material. Uh, but no, what's crazy is that, let's say, the whole thing is that your house is, the lights are broken or off. 
And you go into a, into a room, you hold spacebar to have him repair the light. Um, and then you, you hear, like, a knock at the door. And the thing is, the sound quality is so good that, like, you hear a dude, like, at, when I say knock at the door, it's, like, banging, like, fucking really hard. And it kind of sounds really good, and it kind of creeps you out. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, someone's knocking at the door. You go check it out, and the door's just open, and you're like, Okay. All Would right. Wish I'd saved my prank and, for this. Yeah, and as yeah. well, it's two D. So really you're like, good. you're two D at this point. You're like, this this game can't be scre- uh, scary or creepy. And you're hearing like scraping on walls and stuff, and like stuff moving and like footsteps. And you're like, okay, the sound is really good, but what it looks like isn't really that freaky, kind of. Uh, but lights will like bust off, and you can only see the the ghosts and the monster thingies uh, in the darkness. So if you're in a room with the light on, it blows up the light, so you have to repair it to see it again. But when it blows up the light, then you can see the ghost. But say if you run through hallways and the lights are all on, you don't know where the fuck the ghost is till you're, like, in the room with it and then, like, the lights just explode and you're, like, getting fucking mauled by it. Um, uh. So it's really crazy. But the stupid thing is, like, the story of that game is weird because, like, you wake up in the middle of the night but when the you hear knocks and the door will open and your dude's like, oh, I should go check the forest around my house. In, like, <laughs> a nightgown and candle. And you're just like... Bro, that's a bad idea. And then you go out into the forest... And then you just kind of like wander until you find a house, which isn't yours anymore, but you wake up in it after. And then he goes to sleep. But then after that level's done, the whole thing is about surviving nights. That's yep. like when you, oh, you survive the night? Spoilers. Sweet. That's, it's, I don't know. Anyway. You survive nights. Now I know. You, you wake up in that house. Knock, knock. Go check the door. Door's open. Better go check that forest outside this house with this candle. You're like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, it's really creepy. It's really, it ended up being creepy. Because there's something about walking around and having the game be slow paced because you're just kind of like creeping around a house to hearing like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Paranormal Activity. Activity. Fuck that whole movie. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. So Kumar, you know whenever <laughs> yep. you're just like, they're in the house and you just like don't hear anything and you hear like something like a fucking dude throwing his body against the wall. Is it, are you talking, wait, I never first mind. One. I, I was about to spoil that shit so hard. No, no, I don't give a fuck. Uh, zero fucks are given. Okay, so are you well, talking about the ending view- of that viewers? Movie? No, just just like the first one where they're like they're they'll be looking down the stairs and like, do you see anything? No. Paranormal just... activity. Spoilers incoming. Okay, well for viewers, I I won't tr- go through the mic, but like Isn't that actually... fucking movie like seven years old. I don't. Actually, I don't know. If People I might those. have not the, seen the it. Ending, they released the ending of like the first one. Still fucking terrifies me. Yeah, the ending is pretty fucked up. Well, it depends on which one you've seen, because there's three different endings. Okay, so now I'm even more worried, and I there's don't want to see There's the theater one, there's <laughs> the one that they showed at Thun- Sundance, and there's the fucking DVD version, which is just full-out gore for hey, no if I If I talk to you about the one that I've seen, can you tell me which ones are different? Sure. D- okay. Well, no, let him describe the one that he's seen. Okay. So I'll explain, I'll explain the one sure. that I'm thinking. Sure. So I'm talking where, uh, I, and I don't remember their names, I but... Is the dude like sleeping. The... Well, I can do, I can I can say them without spoiling anything. Is the no no just Doesn't let him explain. Just okay, let him do go it. For it. Is how old is the movie realistically? I don't know, like few years, four or five, four or five years. Five years. Five years. Okay, case of spoiler alert. Oh eight oh nine. Yeah, I already said um, spoilers. We're good on this. So, dude sleeping or whatever. Chick gets up, walks around because I think she's on. The, she sleeps on the right side of the bed. I think or no, sorry, she's on the left side of the bed. So she walks around it and goes downstairs. Yeah. And then you hear that fucking horrifying scream bang thing. yeah that ridiculous very crazy scream and then yeah. he kind of scrambles gets up runs downstairs screaming her name mm-hmm. and then uh i want to say she like he, she she chucks him right into the so this is where the endings okay so here, here's 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 what ended up happening i'm gonna pause bit tripper so i can <laughs> or run okay. sorry so the creepy time with she, unity in october yeah. So oh, you hear you hear the screams or whatever, and then everything just goes quiet. Yeah. And then you hear those really, really heavy like the steps, right? Like the footsteps. Yeah. Not that's even the cool. fast ones. I'm talking the slow oh, ones. Okay. When she's walking, when she's already fucking murdered him, and she's walking up the stairs. Okay, so that's yeah. That's and you don't ending. you don't see her. And yeah. I was sitting here and it, went, and it went dead quiet, and I was like, something's gonna happen, and I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> I know, I know for a fact, something's gonna fucking pop up. It's gonna be a jump scare. So yeah. I was prepped. What I wasn't prepped for was her fucking slinging his body. Oh, up the yeah. What did he so, do? She just, she just so like throws you, you the body this, up. Right? The... Neither of you guys no, have seen I, this? I have no... They're great. I, I have, have no... Blu-ray. You know, <laughs> I have no ambition to see them either, so... They're, so, they're not even that freak. Like, they're cool. They're, they're, they give you the heebie-jeebies or whatever, but you're, you're just like, that was sick as Is shit. Is Paranormal Activity done in, like, found footage style? Kind of, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, like right. they they've basically set up a camera and then they've kind of shown the the majority of the movie through what the people are actually experiencing. The, the thing is, though, the paranormal activity movies, I find that the only way to experience them properly would have been when they were in theaters. Similar to Gravity, because of the subwoofer shit that they do in that movie. Yeah, like crazy stuff. I, I've never been able to recreate it, even with headphones on, because what they do in the movie is like when the demon thingy is around, you just like, there's, it's like, you're, if you're watching it on TV, you're like, hmm, there's nothing happening. In the theater, it's like, <laughs> like, there's just rumbling happening, and it gets super fucking loud to like, you're almost shaking in the theater, you're like, like, like what a, the what fuck guy is about to happen? All right. It's basically like listening to a but really, really good song with headphones but versus... But it's, it's, like, it's, it's not even like a sound. Like They're playing on such a low frequency that you're just hearing like the fucking vibrating. But like you watch it at home, you're like, hmm, okay, well, this is a boring scene. Like They're just facing a wall. What's happening here? Um, so, so Riccio, what happened in the other ones then? So so she basically, she chucks him uh, at, uh, at the camera and then comes like right up if, into if the If I lens. remember correctly, there, there's one where... Uh, yeah, she she downstairs she throws the body at the lens, and she comes yeah. up and she will like scream and her face distorts, and then it's like oh, and there's like oh a jump scare at the end oh it's the only jump scare in the movie, um, credits and you're like oh that was that was pretty good which I think was the the theatrical one okay uh the Sundance or whatever one they were showing before the movie was crazy was that uh, she would come upstairs alone uh, with a yeah. knife in her hand and okay. there's blood all over her so she killed him obviously. Yeah, and but, then she but blood all over her even in the other one though. Yeah, but so she's but she sits down next to the bed and she starts rocking and it does a like fast forward thing for like two three days. It's like day night day night day night or something. Oh my god! And, okay. then, and then the sister comes home. Yeah, and then she's like, oh, oh she shit! Them. No, no, no. So she closes the door. She runs off. You just hear like okay. she's like, oh my god! Then she whatever sees the body, but you're still still seeing from the upstairs. And yeah, she runs yeah. off. Then it comes back and it's the cops. And then like they come in, they're like screaming for the chick or whatever. And yeah. then she just kind of gets up. And she still has a knife, but she's like holding the knife and she's like, hey. It's only a knife, so they just shoot her dead, and that's the end of that one. And you're like, oh. Like they light her up like Christmas kind of thing? Like they yeah, it's just like, <laughs> she just like gets, but you're still seeing her from the, the, the TV. Like from, the, yeah, from like so in their she, bedroom, right? Yeah, so she just kind of gets shot a bit and falls over. And then there's, I believe it's the, the DVD one, which was, they just went full out gore, where okay. she throws the body, she does a scream, and then she just fucking like slices her neck open, and just like is like bleeding all over the place. And you're like, what the fuck? I never seen that one, so I thought it was pointless. <laughs> the one but, that I saw was was rough enough. I was like, "Yep, I'm done. I'm yeah. done with paranormal activity. Fuck this shit." But uh, no, the other ones are really good. I, I the second one had like a weird ending, but like uh, I know the, the I, I've so I've heard about this. Like I know the 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 story behind it all, and how it progresses. But again, oh, like I the fourth one that came out today. Apparently, I, I can't funny. fucking. Watch you didn't it. know about paranormal activity four? No, I gotta go see that then. Just because I always just go see it. Oh no, I've seen four. <laughs> Isn't that the one with the connect in it? Yeah. There's no five. Is there a five? Five is next to you. Okay, I've seen four. Four was not bad. Four. The. It's not to I'm spoil. I'm sure all these are on Netflix. Possibly. There's there's one thing that makes me really sad about Paranormal Activity, and it's like most of those movies where there's such a build up, and then you get to like the final 15, 20 minutes, and then within half a minute, like 30 seconds. Because it's cutting through like the footage of the houses or whatever. There's also other movies that do this, but Paranormal is one of them. Um, where the shit just goes down. So you're, like, you'll be following like, a family. And then those 30 seconds go on, every character in the fucking movie is dead. Like It's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for the build-up of like, is something going to happen? Everything just happened in 30 seconds. You're just like. So I, fun, little, fun little fact about Paranormal Activity. Yeah. As Paramount DreamWorks acquired the rights for the movie. For three hundred and fifty thousand yeah, dollars, oh, yeah. well, they paid was the th- like they three hundred and fifty um three hundred and fifty hundred uh, yeah three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and they made in the box office a hundred and eight million dollars, and then worldwide they made one hundred and ninety four million dollars. Look look up what they cost to make the movie. I it's th- like nothing. I think it's like five grand. Yeah, it's nothing oh at all. Because all it the, is is like sounds and like a door closing or like just weird shit that they could have done with like ropes. Paid five grand for their work, yep. And wow. they just... They, just this, they, they paid... Uh, they actually paid... If you look at the... Yeah. From a... Uh, like from the actual percentage-wise kind of thing, like they really paid a lot of money for for what they got. Yeah. But again, they've got a phenomenal distribution channel so they can... Okay, so a trailer for five came out today, I guess, then. Are you going to watch it? I just want to know if that's true. How much did the other ones cost? Did they cost around the same? Were they as easy to make? Um, they they the from two onwards. Well, four I believe, they had weren't... a connect, so that's an extra hundred fifty bucks. 
<laughs> but I, I believe that, uh, yeah, the fifth one has it's a spinoff, apparently. Ugh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, the first one was made by the people who made the, like, was the original people. The second one was made with them helping. The third one was, like, two known horror people. It wasn't even by those people, I think. And then the fourth one, they came back to help write it. How and were they received, by the way? Were the sequels all, I, like, well, did people like them, or? I liked one and two. Okay. Th- there's there's one that goes into, like, witchcrafting, and whatever. I think that's the third one that wasn't written by oh, them. I think the third one. And it, I was just like, so the third one is the only one that has no involvement. From it was the still, people? it was still okay. They did like weirder scares, but it was just like, what the fuck is going on here? And the fourth one ties right back into like minutes after the first one. Kind, of, I don't know. It, no, yes, no. <laughs> the, no, no, no. Never mind. The fourth one just ties in with the first one, and you're just like, then you're back in. You're like, this is sick, and they do the connection and all that stuff. But that's pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to see. I wonder who made the fifth one. I'm kind of excited to see that now. I wonder how many of them there are going to be. Honestly, I would I would bring you guys to go see it because it's, as much as it's, like, a scary movie, it's, um, I find the Paranormal Activity movies are the funnest to see because everybody, every, I've seen all of them in theaters. And, uh, actually, except the first one. It's the first one I saw on Blu-ray and I was like, holy shit. And then after that, it seems that people go see them. So the Blu-ray one had the theatrical ending? Uh, the Blu-ray one, I think you could choose. And you watch theatrical? That I watched sounds the theatrical, like which it is the sense. screaming one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the people who seem to go see it are the people that's like, um, I don't know. Like, every time I've gone, there's always been a few people, like, a scare is coming and you'll have, like, the sub going up. And they will be like, oh, shit. Like, just people just yelling <laughs> stuff during the movie. Or, or like, the, like, the joke thing where you'll be like, oh, that bitch is going to die. Like, just... The dumb shit, and you have everybody kind of laughing. So it's I, more of like a fun time than like, yo, I feel like I'm going to see dumb action movies, which I used to do with Dustin. It was that I kind of wanted, I love dumb action movies, yeah. and they're my favorite. We went to see The Raid Redemption yeah. in theaters, and that was just fucking gold. Yep. So it was like eight people in that theater, and we were just all like kind of yelling jokes and stuff. And it yeah. Was great. But so I don't even know these people. I wish I knew those people. Yeah, I got Expendables. I think it was Expendables 1. Nope. It was expensive. Were you toast too. when you watched that movie? Yeah, I was. I was pretty. It's pretty inebriated when I watched that movie. <laughs> well, I was that guy in the back yelling shit out. <laughs> but there were like right. five people in the theater, including me and my friends. There's one other guy. Did I tell you when I went to see Phantom Menace 3D, and me and oh. my group of seven friends were the only people in the theater? Oh, geez. I, That's why there's no episode two 3D, I guess. Because <laughs> you were the only seven who went to watch it? I guess so. I um, But it was kind of great because it was just like, hey, I want to start with my buddies. It's great. Je- Jess came to that. Oh. Yeah. I'm no, sure I invited you. I'm yeah, sure you did too. <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Um, I, I had the yeah, same thing. With what? The new, what was the new Rambo movie? The newest Rambo movie? I, I went to go see that. Oh, in, Rambo 5. Or Rambo. Was it just called Rambo? I think it was, it was just Rambo, called Rambo. Rambo. I went to go see that. Uh, it was uh, during like when I was in like uh, college. And we're just like, you know what, guys? Should we go to this next class? Because that Rambo movie just came out. So we went to go see the movie. And it was us. Like I think it was like five or six of us. Like opening week-ish. Or like the week after, let's say. Um, and there was just us five in the fucking theater. And it was it was at a fairly decently big theater, which like, which one? Uh, Coliseum. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, that's, yeah. And that's we were just, a decently sized theater. And we were just like, <laughs> all right then. And then we were just yelling shit the entire time and just like yelling Rambo, fucking just talking like it was. Funny. <laughs> that it was pretty that movie was Rambo kills a whole bunch of people. Yeah, like very violently. Ooh, yeah, with a fifty cal. Anyways, you guys, video games. Video games. What video are those? Games. I'm sorry to, to knock us away here. Knock knock is cool. <laughs> All right. What else we got? I played a lot of random shit. Um, going roll on with... through them in thirty seconds. Mm, can't do that. All right. So, <laughs> MCB also donated another game, and he was nice enough to donate five copies ish. He bought himself oh, a copy. That, that he gave thing me a co- you're yeah. About. Yeah, he gave me a copy. Then he gave some out to people who were streaming, uh, who were want to play while we were on stream. Um, was this damned? Yes, damned. It's it's a game okay. called Damned, and um, it's it's. For those of you who have G- uh, Gary's mod, there's a there's a like a stop at Slender, which is like one guy Slender, everybody has collected pages, then he kills them. This is like that, where one person plays like a demon. Uh, there's a ghost demon, and there's another thing called the Lurker, which kind of is a ghost can't see players, but he can warp into like the player world uh, or like that 
uh, dimension, I guess, and then kill them. And then, but he can only be there for a certain amount of time. Um, but what's interesting is when you're playing as that guy, uh, you go around the map and you trap things. Um, so you'll like trap a clock, you'll trap like um, a glass that's on a table, and people will walk by and they they don't set it off. Like just them being near will like throw the glass on the ground, like they're haunted. Um, so you're in your ghost form, you can't see any players, but you'll hear like a bell go off, and you're like. Oh, there's a player, I know there's one near that room, so you'll run over there, and as you're running there, you hear like a glass break next to you, and you're like, nope, nope, he was, must have ran through that room and gotten to this room, so you warp into like the good, like the player dimension, and you murder them and stuff. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a game you would want to play. It's pretty good, uh, but the best was that, uh, for those of you who haven't heard or, or seen any videos with MCP, MCP's a really cheery guy and an awesome dude, and uh, he was messing with us because he had played the game before, uh, so he was playing <laughs> a ghost that could go through doors and walls. <laughs> So we, we were just all trying just to be like hanging what? out on the other side of a door. Yeah, well, we would just be like, all right. So do you have the key for this? Because you go around finding keys as the humans. Uh, so you're like, okay, well, I got a key. Okay, I'm gonna lock this door. And he just come through like a door, so like woo, and just be yelling shit over because we were using raid call. And then he just disappeared. And you're like, hmm. wait a second. So could he have killed you very easily? Yeah, yeah. He, it's just one left click and you're dead or something. So he, it's it's like an OP kind of ghost guy that you can be right now. But he was just going into rooms like yelling shit or being like, turn around, like oh, I'm right behind you, and just murder people. But. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty fun. It's it's very uh, janky though. That game it tries to do like the uh, amnesia left click and then like open a door. You mean control wise though? Or? Yeah, and uh, it <laughs> it doesn't work. It's really fucked up. Like you'll constantly try to close a door and then you can't close it and the monster gets through and kills you and just weird shit. But was uh, it at least fun when you guys had all of you collectively playing it? Yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, whenever we sat down, like MC was giving us chances, but whenever it was us playing and trying to get better uh, at the game and we were playing seriously. Um, it was really cool to have all of us on Skype or on raid call, sorry, trying to communicate but not tell where we are because he was a ghost. Huh. But then him knowing that's like, oh man, I just heard that bell go off. And then you're just like, oh man, is he about to show up? Did and then I just, just make appear- noise. Yeah, then he just like appears and starts like feeding off of everybody's like afraidness and just fun. Is it was it's it's a fun game to play with. Well, him. it's actually that kind of makes sense to have that like kind of talk around it because theoretically the ghost would hear you. Yeah, if you're in the, like a haunted house, we had, we had a few times where a uh, player would die and he was carrying the keys, and then uh, we're all watching and cause you can spectate once you're dead, and then you're like, okay, pick up his keys, and then you're just like, what did I just say? And then it's the, like you'd have like Dracula playing as the monster, like, okay, I'm fucking turning around, I know right where you are, and he like appears and he starts like sprinting and shit. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. It, that the game was kind of fun. I I honestly I'd say wait off on it for a bit because it's pretty messed up the way it is right now. But well, uh, I think I'd rather watch. It's fun. People play it rather than play it myself. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I, yeah. Payday 2 got a new um, update. I didn't get to actually play it. demo, I heard. Did it? Oh, yeah. Um, So the Payday 2 got an update that added a diamond heist. Uh, What was that, sorry, Kumar? It's just sweet. Yeah, uh, I I went in to give it a shot. I ended up playing other maps that I had just not played from the original. (laughs) Like, from from the first Payday, like, just, uh, just Payday 2's original release. Um, and they tweaked everything. Like, Devin, I don't remember the last time you played, but, uh, you know how, like, you'd buy a skill? It'd be, yep. like, 32,000 for the first skill, then, like, the ace would be, like, 300 or something? Yeah. Now it's, like, 12,000 for a skill and, like, 30,000 for an ace. Oh, thank God. And, uh, weapons cost a little bit less. Um, money tends to be, like, less for missions, but you get it... A little bit Faster, easier. or, like, yeah. the XP. They tweaked it's not it. ridiculously hard to get any sort of money. <laughs> it's... It, it, it can be depending on which missions you do, but yeah. like we did a mission where you make meth. But the funny thing is, you make meth, you that go. Sounds familiar. Yeah. No, you, you make meth, you go and you trade the meth. So you go to a gang and you give them bags of meth, and then they're like, all right, we're going to give you some information. So you take the information, and then you get money for giving them bags of meth, but you're only supposed to get three. Any more over three, they give you an extra 100K. Yep. So we give them all the bags of meth. We go get all the money, we get the, the information, and then that car is still parked outside. So we just go steal the bags back and just fucking run away with them. So <laughs> we got the money, we got more meth, and we got some information. We go into the next mission, and then we have to steal more stuff. And because we had the information, we could, like, defuse bombs. So we stole even more shit. That mission gave us, like, 500,000, which apparently if we would have done better, could have given us, like, a million or more. And it was just like, man... Payday Two is awesome. Payday Two is really <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Payday Two is really, really awesome. So, did you get? Did you actually get like money value back from keeping the meth? Yes. Oh you, wow. You, so if you get a hundred k for giving the extra, but each bag is also worth a hundred k. So you just fucking steal it all back, and you're just like shooting the gang members after. It's pretty sweet. 
Hmm. Um, it's, it's really Can they mess you up really bad if you... Uh, if you're, you're walking through their like apartment buildings lined with them, so if like as you're going there, if you were to point at someone and like, point the gun at them, and they're just like, no, something's wrong, they burn the information, and they'll just start shooting you and getting you oh, down. Okay. So because you traded first, it was just kind of like... Shoot so we were on our way out. out, and we're just like, well, it's still right next to our van, so we're just going to take your shit back. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was pretty neat. That's awesome. Um, Who did you play with this time? Just random uh, people oh, from okay. the channel and such. Uh, Devin, we played some Hawken. Yeah, I forgot about that. We played some Hawken. Yeah, that was good. It was fun. I don't have much to say about that. I haven't I haven't played enough to get a full opinion. Okay. Um, but it was fun. I definitely want to play some more of that. Um, but Dan, you would like that. Well, I remember we were here on Saturday. And... Oh, yes. Well, I showed you guys a bit. Yes. Different. Well, that, not you, but um, yeah, Hawken's pretty great. I bought a new mech. Feels pretty cool. Still feels awesome. The game kind of just reminds me of Quake with oh, the oh. huge things. What? Speaking of Hawken, you know what I'm excited for? What's that? To play that on Ultra with my new computer that is Ooh. finished. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I'm actually super excited to crank great. that all the way up to Ultra. See, now Devin's going to enjoy 60 frames per second, Dan, and then he's going to put on a console game and be like, what is this garbage? And then he will understand. Garbo frame rate. He will understand. Com. Garbo frame rate. Dot com. Um, I'm sorry, Dan. Then you gotta upgrade your. You're looking at me like dead. Eyes. <laughs> it's just like, you played something Frame else. Me. You played the Wolf Among Us. I played the Wolf Among Us. Yes. Devin was talking about getting like what? What would what did you aim for in CS:GO with your new computer? Two hundred. Two. I was. I don't even know what to do with that many. Frames. I can't hold that many frames. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. What do you do with that? Burn your eyes out. Yes. You can see your eyes burning at sixty frames a second, which is if you slow that down, it looks pretty fucking cool. Wow. <laughs> 60 is too fast for me. Is it's, it actually? Yeah. I tried playing Mass Effect so on good. PC. So good, Runs yeah. at a smooth 60. I was like, I can't fucking play this. Because I'm used to <laughs> like the, 30? the aiming and the recoil and stuff on 30. And I just couldn't fucking play that game on PC. Weird. Yeah, I'm the opposite. I can't play it uh, on like at 30 frames. It's just awful for me. Yeah, I'd imagine. I'd imagine. I feel your pain, Kumar. Uh, but yeah, I played Wolf Among Us, uh, like Devin mentioned. Um, Wolf Among Us is the new Telltale game. Um, and if that is any indication to how much they've improved since Walking Dead, holy shit. Is this a holy shit of excitement? Or? Holy shit of excitement. Um, Kumar, I I don't know what it sounded like when you played Because you played it on iPhone and the Vita, right? Or the iPad and the Vita? Was your oh, uh, Walking Dead? Yeah, Walking Dead, sorry. Yeah, Yeah, I played it on uh, the iPad and the Vita. So I don't know how the sound was for you, but I was playing on the PC and I still got that. I don't know, Dan, how, when you played on the 360 or Devin, when you played it on my PC. 360 version equals Garbo. But still, the audio quality kind of sounded sometimes like tinny or just like there, but not good quality. Yeah, a little tinny. And animations were like good, but sometimes stiff or weird. Everything about the Xbox 360 version is garbage. Yeah, okay. Well, the frame rate. Garbo. Yeah, Garbo frame rate. Anyway, yeah. dot com. Dot com. By the way, I'm um, sad that no one uh, no one used the leave leave some Garbo feature uh, of Garbo frame rate. Uh, hey, one <clears> person <throat> did. Dan. Oh uh, yeah, that's Rocco. true. I we still don't it. we still don't technically know who he is. I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, no, Wolf Among Us. So Kumar, if you if, I don't know if you ever or you guys I don't know if you ever heard like kind of tinny audio quality that was kind of in those games. Um, that's been replaced with like crazy crystal clear audio. Awesome sounding music and like sound effects that are like super subby and insane and awesome. So like punches sound crazy and like all this shit is insane. Um, but um, the reason I enjoyed Wolf Among Us, the first episode, uh, so goddamn for, much. For some people wondering what this is, it's the Telltale game that's made after Fables. Yeah. That's that comic series. Yeah. Because I knew they were, I fell into this where it's like, I don't know what the fuck Wolf Among Us is. Yeah. And then they, you showed me the trailer and it was like. Based on Fables, I was like, oh, this is that Fables game that Telltale was making. Yeah, so that, that's what I was kind of getting at, is that um, Walking Dead, we've seen, like, uh, the show. We, we've maybe heard of the, 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 the graphic novels. The show's poopy now. Yeah, the show's This new season started off. First 10 minutes was, like, relationship stuff. Was, excuse me? What? Uh, anyway, um, the, uh, we, we've seen the show. Well, we've heard of the show, we've we've read the graphic novels or seen the graphic novels, and you just know what zombie ac- apocalypses are like, right? Like, you, like if you, you've, there's been enough games, there's been enough movies that you kind of, you know what you're getting into when you go into Walking Dead. You know, like, shit's going to go bad, there's going to be zombies, people are going to have ammo, not Humans enough ammo. Humans are the real enemy. Yeah, like, you know that going Pretty into much. this. Going into Wolf Among Us, I don't know anything about the Fabled stuff. I 
I don't imagine know. most people don't. Exactly. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Like, I know some of the fables from when I was younger and stuff. Like, some of the characters like uh, Snow White or like uh, the Beauty and the Beast and all that stuff. Um, so you kind of you're going in like, okay, I recognize this, but like, what are they doing with this? And going oh, yeah, from that's like a that's like a dark universe about it, that stuff. It's yeah. dark, but it's just like you, you, learning. Like, okay, wait, yeah, this doesn't make sense. Like, how do how do fable characters mix in with like real life? Because they're in Brooklyn in this game. And you're like, wait, how are these people mingling with, like, human people, which are, um, oh, I can't remember their names, mug somethings, and then, like, there's the fable characters. And they use, like, glamour to look like humans, but if they run out, then they, like, transform, like, the big bad wolf looks like a fucking massive wolf, or, like, the crazy shit going on. And learning all that, learning the characters, and seeing, like, just getting all the, I don't know if it's lore, but, like, just the story and all the no, crazy, yeah, lore, yeah, the lore from, from, from the universe that's, like, you don't even know about, and just... All that new shit being introduced to you feels so goddamn cool going through The Wolf Among Us so far. And um, a lot of people have complained that the main character, which is uh, Sheriff Bigsby, which is Bigsby, Big B, is Big Bad Wolf. Yes. Um, he, um, he seems kind of dumb in the first episode, but I could tell by the end he was more tailored to me. Because he kind of goes in, you, you kind of expect him to know a lot of stuff, but as you go in, like, you're asking questions, and he's just like, I don't understand, what is this? And he, he you're, you're noticing stuff that he isn't getting, but um, I was kind of being more on the nice side and kind of giving people chances, and uh, it's kind of like a murder mystery as you're going through this, kind of, and you're trying to pick, like, okay, who do I think is or is the bad dude? And you're going through it, and you're trying to think, like, with your own head, like, okay, he was there, but then there was this, but that has nothing to do with it, so, and you're trying to figure it out, and... You're trying to be ni- I was trying to be nice to people at the same time, so not just be like, fucking tell me everything you know. And as I was going through it, as I got to the end... Like, Why not? He, wolf. I don't know. Because at one point, somebody says, like, man, like everybody fucking hates you because you always, you're, you're just a shithead all the time. And I'm like, wait, well, that's not me. That's just what he starts as. And going on, like people started trusting me. People were being nice. And I'm really excited to see where it's going to go in the other episodes because I feel like Walking Dead, yes, you had a different... Um, well, I don't remember his name. A different... Uh, Lee, but in this, I feel like you're really going to feel like your Bigsby is going to be really how you go about things, um, which is awesome. Have you already finished the first episode? I finished the first episode, yeah. It's like an hour and a half or two hours. Um, and it does some interesting stuff where you get to kind of, uh, it does that thing where it's like, oh man, I should go to this place, but wait, I just heard that there's shit going down at this place. Where should we go? And you're like, hmm, that other one doesn't sound too serious, but this one sounds serious. I'm going to go here, and then it'll take that into account of, okay, now because you did that, stuff's changed, and that, you got there, but now it's like hours have passed, or you, because you went there, you brought an item that you can now do things, it's, there's a lot of weird shit going on that, that's pretty, it's really cool, I like how they're, they're tailoring this, but uh, it just, it just seems like they've learned so much from The Walking Dead, and if they... Because now that they put out this first episode, I feel like the next five episodes are going to look and sound similar to this. But then when Walking Dead Season 2 comes out, it'll be like their next jump up in quality. I'm so excited to be blown away by what they're going to do. It, Wolf Among Us is, is amazing. It's so far super amazing. They could fuck it up in the next four episodes. I don't know. But it has such a strong start for me right now. And I'm, I'm so psyched. Um, sweet. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, have, they, have they announced when the next uh, the next episode's coming out or no? No, no. Uh, they normally do it every two months or so, I think, or a month and a half, two months-ish. Uh, I think what they're trying to do is have it done by summer so that they finish up with that and then they roll right into Walking Dead Season 2. Um, I think that's the plan, but I'm not sure. Cool. That'd be super sweet, though, because it's nonstop Walking, not Walking Dead, but Telltale. Yeah. I thought more Walking than, like... Season two stuff was supposed to be real soon. It was supposed to be at this Christmassy, but then they I think they shoved it back to next summer, mm-hmm. which sucks. But with Wolf Among Us, it should tide us over. <laughs> um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. I tried to finish fucking. Not even worth mentioning or talking about, but I tried to finish Golden Abyss again and whatever. Oh yeah, I saw your uh, your little PlayStation update. Yeah. It was like you are fifty two percent. Keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I was means. like, wow. Even even the PlayStation itself is chirping Richio to finish this game. <laughs> I'll try to get to it. I'll try to get to it. The last part of that game is just 
that's what I heard you complain about, and that's why I was like getting close to it. I'm like, mm. so my chapter 29 out of 36 or something, or 30, 32, 32, I think. Really? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm closer to the end of thought. The um, last couple chapters go by quick, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's like okay, combat sequence. Next chapter, combat sequence. Yeah, yeah that's what's been going on. Yeah. You might be like 20 minutes, depending on completion skill, away from the end of that game. Can I talk about what just happened and then? Yeah, I mean, spoilers for Golden Abyss, Uncharted coming up. I think I think the last thing I remember happening is that uh, wow, what's his name? The old dude that's always with uh, Drake, Sully. Sully. Sully is like he hurt his leg. He's going to get, shit. Yeah, sorry. He, he just hurt his leg, so he's going to go take a helicopter to meet us up top once I save some chick, uh, the yeah. chick Chase yeah. or whatever. Is that how, is that far? Is it like about to hit the end or? You're going like down Are, into like a hole. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That hole is in the end of the game. Wow. There's some combat to get into the hole, then a then a boss, you know, uncharted boss, and then that's the end. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. All the that uncharted story. bosses have been so bad. <laughs> this one is bad for like a totally fucking different reason, though. Yeah, it really is. You're, you, I, the I think other ones are like combat based. You you're gonna get to this and be like, you might destroy your Vita wow. in the process of this boss. Like you, you will start asking yourself whether it's really worth it. Actually, I will say this, this Dan. Game. You finished it on? Did you finish it on normal or crushing? Normal. Okay, so on crushing, you know how, like you you can't you can screw up during that sequence. Yeah. You can make a mistake and you're fine. Just, in just, crushing, just like it, one or two though. Exactly. In crushing, you can't. Great. Perfect. Yeah. Well, during the last part of that sequence, if you make any mistake, you're done. And if you go wow. back to the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. If if let me just this sequence, if done perfectly, is like five minutes. Oh, also, um, Dan, you know what? Uh, you know, like you solid. know what the worst part is about that. What? On crushing mode, everything's sped up too. Great, great, perfect. Even better, right? Now <laughs> I know just... that I never have to reinstall that game to play the other difficulties. The game. game just wants to shit on you every chance it gets. You know what's crazy is the reason I was going through it was to uh, get the space back right? for Tearaway, which I forgot. Yeah. Oh wait, I pre-ordered that. Second of all, coming out in November, like November twenty-second. Yeah, I was like, oh, my birthday. Okay, well, <laughs> point is, I was trying to beat it as fast as I could to get to it, and I was like, oh, I know it's coming out at the end of October, and I'm like, no oh, wait, it's not, and I just put my Vita back down. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm never going to beat that. I then. want, you, before the next I'll, podcast, I'll, I'll, I want I should be able to that. finish it while it's rendering tonight, maybe, for this podcast. Because I, I want to just, I need you to understand. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> you'll get an angry, probably gif of me fingering the, uh, middle fingering the Vita, fingering your Vita. <laughs> fingering your Vita, right, Richie? Oh, jeez. PVC pipe. Um... That's it for games. Fuck it. Um, that moving on to news here. Um, oops, I gotta rip a paper. paper. Random spot. Um, yeah, no. So moving on to news here. Uh, I realize I didn't open any of the browser things, but I do have them lined up. There's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna skip over here. Actually, can I say one last thing about a game? Go for it. I forgot. Kumar, you played shit. What did you play? <laughs> um, well, again, like I said, the only new game I played was uh, is rather uh, Bit Trip Runner Two. But sure. uh, do you remember? So last week, you remember how I mentioned that quote-unquote true end to Dragon's Crown. Yeah. So this week they released the patch that allows cross-play between video players and PS3 players. I have no idea why they didn't think to add this right out of the gate because it would have made a lot of sense. Yeah. But anyways, I guess better late than never. So I got shit-kicked repeatedly for a week, right? Yeah. Trying to trying to beat the, uh, what's his name? Chaos, or uh, Demon Lord, I think is his name. Okay. So I got shit-kicked for a full week trying to beat him on my own with AI. Mm-hmm. I uh, I went to join random Floor 9 um, Labyrinth of Chaos. Okay. And it threw me in with three people playing on the PS3. Oh, <laughs> High really? levels or low levels? No, they were all the same level. You have to, like, the, the Demon Lord is a, uh, is, he's a level 99 character. Okay. Uh, for, you to, for you to get to him, if you try to beat him at anything less than maybe 95, you're just, I, I think you're kind of dumb. So... I go in the the first match that I get thrown into, it's with three other players, and it it took forty seconds <laughs> to to kill him. Oh my god! <laughs> it made me kind of angry too. I I don't know why they didn't put that. Like I wonder what what they, they what they were missing for why they they couldn't put that out at launch to do cross platform because well it's the same honest, game right like it is yeah but even right now the netcode is still pretty garbage. Really? Even, oh yeah. I feel like it, PS3 it's to still, PS3 is probably okay if you have wired to wired. 
Um, well, it works. It works well enough. So I, I mean, I shouldn't shit on it just because, but it's still like there are still times when, for whatever reason, it'll spit out a message saying you're not connect or could not find connection, even though it two seconds ago told you that you are successfully connected. Really? It still does that a lot. Yeah, and I I don't know if that's via only, but it's that apparent enough that I I don't understand why they haven't fixed that yet. Kumar, stop making excuses and play Persona. Hey Kumar, you beat and platinumed. Yep, Dragon's I'm done Crown. with. Uh, I'm done with Dragon's Crown now. And then you said, "Okay, Persona, here I come." And then you're telling yeah, me you played. Yeah, I'm Runner starting 2. Persona within the week. He's, He's playing, playing Runner Turd, Runner Turd, Runner, Runner, Runner Two <laughs> during the podcast. So that, yeah, that's like, okay. I've I've been playing right like this whole time. I'm at the end of World Two now. See, Dan, he's be all right. The only reason that I haven't started Persona yet is because I. And I think I mentioned this to Dan maybe in a private chat or something a while back, but it's a game that I feel I can very much actually give. You actually a, talked about like, this on the podcast. Oh, okay. Because I'm yeah, so razzing it, it, you. It's something that I want to actually sit down and enjoy kind of thing. So, And I know that it, the first couple hours are, I don't want to say tutorializing, but they're introducing you to a lot of stuff. So looking forward to that. I, Richard, I'm, I'm excited. Ridiculous motherfucker. I'm excited to, yeah. to to hear what you're gonna really think I of say Persona. You're doing this. Um, Have you, you played it, right, Richo? Yeah, Richo is copy pasting single done. letters out of the chat to Google Why? Mists of Pandaria to buy it. No, 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 no. That's not that's not what I'm doing. Are you sure? Because <laughs> I don't think Pandaria is another could be another word. Is that all the clicking that I'm hearing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Richo, you know there's a very, very simple solution to you doing this every single podcast? Yeah. Get yourself a non-mechanical keyboard that's Bluetooth and just turn it on for the podcast. No, that's okay. I could. I do actually have that. How did Pandaria FU turn into Mists of Pandaria Future Shop? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because Future Shop sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Are we... we we done with games? Yeah, we're done with games. I should probably mention Dragon Screen here. All right. What do we got for news? Can um, we make it a quick one? Yeah, of course we can. I'm starting to pass out. Nope, that can't happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what we have here is to start off with the newest thing I've added here. I'm just going to actually we'll start from the top. Um, Jesus, how many news things? Yeah, we're not going to go through a most of these of videos. videos. That we already watched. Uh. Yeah, so um, this week has been something that Microsoft has been running, has been, has been running uh, called the Week of Xbox Live. Uh, which has been showing videos and stuff uh, to show you things for the Xbox One, what it's going to be like. Uh, they started off pretty crazy showing the Friends app uh, and um, some stuff talking about the dedicated servers, which is where they also mentioned this week that every game on the Xbox One will be getting free dedicated servers if the developers need it. Sounds pretty freaking awesome. Um, so there's that. They also showed, they, they kept talking like, yo, man, the Xbox One's better. It's built for the future. Pretty much, like, it, if you think games are going to run good and look good now, in like three years from now, once we've conquered the cloud and half the computations are going to the cloud, games are going to look so good on the Xbox One. I was like, okay, we'll see once that works. Uh, we'll see once. Um, yeah, I agree. Once this stuff works, then we'll see. If Titanfall comes out and does good, but the thing is, with Titanfall, all they're doing is the AI computation stuff, which is like, Hey, there are ships flying around. That's just like, it kind of makes sense to do that. But in single player games, I don't know how that's going to work. But I would, I can't wait to see if they pull it off and how sick that's going to be. Um, they also showed a Machinima app, which you'll be able to have on the Xbox One, which is pretty much going to be like Machinima Snap. And then it'll take control over the side of your screen and tell you, like, yo, here are guides for what you're currently doing uh, and tell you how to beat like bosses you're maybe still stuck on or all this weird shit. It looks interesting, although, however, I'm pretty sure... Unless um, you hate Machinima, like hate Machinima. a lot of people out there. Yeah. Um, you could also just do uh, probably something like YouTube Snap and then just Google it, or YouTube it, or whatever. Um, so that probably still works. But uh, no, it, Google Snap. Google Snap. Uh, but it sounds interesting. Android Snap. Because what, what that made me think of is that, sure, Machinima's going to do that, but like Brady Games and, and those people who make the actual kind of whatever... Imagine if, let's say, you buy like a collector's edition of, let's just say, Final Fantasy XV, okay? Because it always has like a fucking massive, goddamn, thick, long-ass, crazy thing. If you could be like, hey, we'll give you this digital code. You go download the app, uh, free of charge, because you got the collector's edition, let's say. Now, let's say you're fighting something in Final Fantasy XV on the 360, or the Xbox One. Contextually, you say, guide, snap. Guide, snap. What the fuck is like this dude's weak to? Like, oh, shit. 
mm, you're fighting like a massive chocobo. It's lightning is gonna fucking murder it. You should use lightning. If I could have shows an, like videos and gifs of shit happening, you're yeah, like, oh if man, I could have sick. an intelligent guide companion yeah. that would l- be voice activated and then it'll be playing a game without me having to do anything else. That would be a cool feature. Yeah. But it seems like this Machinima app is just going to be like... This, yeah, this looks a little cheesy. Okay, but here's some My, my favorite, and... though, is like Machinima exclusive to the Xbox One. It's like, well, of course, because PlayStation 4 is not going to do Snap apps, which isn't a bad thing. Like, that's the fact that PlayStation 4 doesn't do it isn't exactly terrible. But, uh, no, I, I'd be excited because... Unless they do intelligent guides like yeah. we're talking about. But it'd be cool because, like, if, if... I just want to point out that this Xbox post has 117 points. Oh, thank you. John. Seven. John. Um... <laughs> But uh, no, I think it'd be cool because st- st- stuff I think like that's hilarious, actually. Yeah. But st- stuff like uh, Dragon Age, you could be like, "Oh, what are the loot tables for this boss?" And be like, that kind of, "That'd be kind of cool." So that'd be interesting. They also there's gonna be more, video- more videos out, or another video, or at least something out tomorrow on Friday, which apparently they're gonna leave something good for last, hopefully. Um, but this day on Thursday, was Rise. They gave the Rise trailer, which uh, looks pretty good. <laughs> tomorrow, another Rise trailer. <laughs> yeah, I, hope, I hope not. Um, but, they're gonna have uh, some multiplayer, uh, some multiplayer suite to show. Yeah, uh, someone in the chat saying that that guide stuff might defeat the game's purpose because it's the challenge. I do agree with you, but for the people who do buy the guides, it'd be really nifty to like. Well, if yeah, you get because stuff or if you're hundred percenting it or something, if like, you're gonna have that app, yeah. you're gonna be the person that buys a guide anyways. Yeah, so it's just gonna be easier and more convenient for you. Yeah, so. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I, the the Son of Rome uh, Rise trailer they put out actually looks kind of cool. I know Devin was like, "Holy shit, man!" Like, I kind of want to get an Xbox One now. But yeah, I, it looks I know you sweet. won't. I'm gonna get it when Halo Five comes out. Yeah, so, but but it, but the fact that it was like went from being like, "Oh, that garbage kind of quick action, quick time quick event" thing, to like, "Man, that story looks like it could actually be decent." Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited for Rise now. Um, Speaking of next gen news, I know you probably opened this somewhere, but I want to talk about it right now. Go for it. Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs canceled for its release <laughs> this year, being pushed I'm back to pissed. next year. I am spring. Fucking pissed. Do you get more time on that app though? Yeah, probably. I'm still like six, top six hundred. How come you stopped playing Psalms? I want to just move to a place that I didn't have any. He, he like... was tired of being at the top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah apparently. Like... Yeah. He's an old hack. <laughs> Anywho, um, what's the, what's the highest rank you got, Devin? Weren't you like 142 at one point? No, he was, was in the top hundred at some yeah. point. Seventy-two. That's mm. dumb. That's craziness. But yeah. So Watch Dogs is delayed until spring 2014. Uh, alongside that news, The Crew, which is another uh, game that Ubisoft showed, where you could be like racing across the world and like driving from city to city and doing all this insane shit, also got pushed back to 2014, sometime possibly 2015. Um, did they give reasoning behind why they did all this? Uh, Watch Dogs, they drop did. their stock prices. Watch Dogs, they gave yeah, a reasoning uh, because they wanted they they figured that they wanted it to be polished and good for what they wanted, so they wanted to push it back to be able to really do that extra bit of cram and all that shit they needed to fix or add yeah, and polish. Yeah. Um, however, a lot of people are kind of like maybe it's because they didn't want to ship two open world crazy games month to like pretty much a week to back to back. So uh, on a console launch, it would have been well, day console, and yeah, date. day and date. Um, so that'd be crazy. But uh, hey, if, if it gets delayed and they happen to put more work into it and it, it does end up better, like if there's, we won't know, but if it does end up better, I'm all for it. And especially waiting for that game now means that I'll be able to finish things at launch and then get to it and be like, holy shit, now this feels next gen. Like, awesome. Let's get into it this. It does, however, cut down my PS4 launch purchases by 25%. Yeah. 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 So there's that. So um, there's rumors that Drive Club I think, uh, is delayed. I think part yeah. of the part of the problem here is that games in general get announced too early. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of well, true. Watch Dogs had really two reach E3s that went by though. Just, just give it up, buds. Yeah, but no, I'm saying Watch Dogs had two E3s that went by, right? It wasn't this E3 they showed it, and they were like, yeah, it was two year? E3s. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, still, yeah. I don't know as. As long as Division actually still ends up happening, yeah, that would be like my next for sure. I want like to, the crew I want to get as well. Crew now I don't have to worry about spending that money for years, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's that. Uh, anyway, 
Moving on to other stuff, uh, Stanley Parable, which was something Dude, that we, we mentioned. We glazed over Drive Club. Oh, Drive Club, right. We mentioned that. There's rumors that that's delayed, but Sony won't comment on it. Yeah, I feel like they're not going to do it unless, like, last minute they're like, okay, seriously, there's something fucked with this. But then what do we get instead on Plus? <laughs> Ooh. Drive Club when it comes out. The, yes, the, but what? they they wanted the big game for launch, right? But what I, what I would say is that if they, let's say they, they push it back, I think what it would end up being is that, like, okay, we're still going to offer it free. No, no, no. I think they're still going to offer it free, but I feel like Drive Club, they'll just be like, okay, instead of getting it launched, you guys will have to wait like one more month. I feel like if they lost Watch Dogs and Drive Club was like their big push because it would be a free game that you'd get, they wouldn't push it back by too yeah. far. They'd have to be like, you guys have to fucking work day and night till this works. We're giving you like a week or two or something, like a month. All right, a month. You guys have to get it by fucking December. It has to be working. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I can't see that they'd be like Drive Club. It's gone too. Yeah. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but anyways. Um, that... Uh... It's a novelty account. Ka- Ka- Kazariah? Yeah. Right? yeah. It tweeted out like, hey, here's... I retweeted it. And Devin, I think you, you saw it. Yeah. It's um, it's just him being like, oh, in light of the recent news, here's a new picture of PS4's launch lineup. And it's just a, it's just like a photo of text that says NAC. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, since we're talking about PS4 stuff, uh, what's his name? Yoshida also said that... Uh, you know how for... Um, Knack, yes. No, for Knack. the say, say you own your stuff on your PS4. You you you've you've been buying your games off the PlayStation Network or whatever. And like Knack for three, you can or PS3, you can only have like two shared consoles. Right. Yeah. And this one, if you're signed into it, no matter what console it is, you can have access to it. Yeah, we we talked about this. Before. But now what you can do is let's say say I'm at home and I'm yeah. playing and I'm like sweet yeah whatever. Uh, and then um so this is like my local hard drive like okay this one's authenticated this is I'm playing it. Then you're at your house and you're like. Oh, sick. I'm going to log on to your, your PlayStation account. Sick. Double log on. You're fucking logged in over there. You're still using my shit while I'm using it at home. So in addition to... Two fam- accounts can be used. Family sharing. Kind of, yeah. Oh. Pretty much. From what he said. Which seems really weird. Cause it's like, if you have just another buddy, you guys just keep sharing the same account. The thing is, you'll share the same gamer tag. You'll have to play on that gamer tag to play that game. It can't be like a, hey, it's signed in, but I'm playing it type thing. Or I don't know how that's going to work. I bet you you wouldn't be able to play multiplayer together. And no. I'd probably discourage... Well, the thing is, is you're using his ID, so yeah. you'd have to be online as him, and you'd probably... Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think just having the two same accounts not be able to play multiplayer yeah. together will kill most of the abuse with that, because yeah. I think most of the friends that would share that kind of stuff kind of want to do it yeah. to play multiplayer anyways, right? So yeah. the, thing, the thing is, I don't think it's going to matter right now, but as it goes on and more people are buying digital stuff that are single player, I can be like, Dan, you want to try this game out? Just log in really quick. I'm going to just keep playing. You, you got to try this, buddy. Just sign on my account that I signed on your thing. So. Like when you wanted me to try that Last of Us demo. Yeah. I need to wait for fucking ever for yeah. that thing to download and yeah. I have to take you that PS3 off your account. And... Yeah. Um, all right, so Eurovale is actually bringing something up that's really, uh, they got mentioned today, uh, that the PS4 in Brazil is going to cost, uh, if you translate or yeah, tra- transfer that money to US dollars. Uh, yeah, $900. Uh, and yeah, sir, I tweeted that he would lower the price if uh, Brazil let Japan win the next World Cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, so they mentioned the reason why it's that is because the price is normal US dollar price, but when it hits there, uh, for some reason, the import cost is insane for some reason. And then the um, tax on it or something fucking inflates it by an insane amount. But then there are people posting on that Reddit post that, like, well, at least on the Reddit post that was posted, post, 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 um, they're saying, like, yeah, but if you buy it on the gray market, there's no taxes, and it's cheaper than the United States. Because it's, it's a gray market. But I don't know. Anyways, that's not the right way to do it. But anyway, either way. People were saying, well, PS4 costs a shit ton of money, and then they went up and did the same thing with the Xbox, but because of where the Xboxes are shipping from, the Xbox One only cost $1,600, save about $300, which one are you going to get? Still crazy amounts of money. Yeah, that's insane. Um, yeah, it's it's both consoles are going to be super expensive for some reason in Brazil because of the import costs and all that weird stuff, which is it's ridiculous. It's been the case for years, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's 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 insane. But, uh, yeah, as he says, we're certainly going to buy it in the U.S. and just bring it there. Probably the best idea. Um, you'll probably be able to buy, like, four for the same price you'd buy for one. Um, and you get, like, the full launch lineup. Not Watch Dogs, though. Um, I was trying to look at... Uh, oh, yeah, PlayStation 4. If you guys want to try one now, apparently if you're in the United States, they're starting to roll out kiosks for those at, like, every major big brick store. I forget what they're called. Just, like, anything. Like, Best Buys and all that stuff. 
Uh, you're gonna start seeing PS4s brick there. And mortar brick and mortar stores. That's the word. Word. What's brick and mortar is like them big big brick stores. Is that what you the, call them? It's the it's big box stores. Are the freaking brick and mortar like the smaller kind of like EB Games and stuff, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah big, big, big box stores. Make big sense. box stores and brick and mortar. Yeah. You just combine them is what we're laughing. Sure, at. sure. Big, big brick. brick. Uh, the Lego block stores will have no. Uh, the PlayStation Exclusive. 4. Exclusive. <laughs> yeah, the PlayStation 4s are getting don't kiosks. Don't talk about Lego stores. You've been to a Lego store? They're fucking f- rad. They would be pretty cool. Um, Best I've never store been, on, but I've on the earth. But the, the PS4s are getting set up so you can try them. Just, just bins of Lego. Same same color bricks, same size. Just sort. It's great. Just so buy Lego in bulk. Your OCD loves it. You walk in, you're like, everything is in place. You just put it in <laughs> tubes and buy it. Go it's barefoot. Bulk Lego. And stab your feet with Lego pieces. Barefoot. They have a giant AT-AT. Oh, man. Um, anyways, the PS4 is getting kiosks all around in those places. Um, the don't Xbox joke about Lego One, I don't know if it's going to get kiosks. However, Xbox is sending around North America... Uh, the truck? the Xbox Experience, which will will be available in Ottawa, uh, our time frame is the first weeks of auto of, of Ottawa of November, uh, where they will be set up at like really? future shops and stuff where you can go there and like they'll. There's only for a few hours a day where apparently they're gonna have like a couch crazy setup like you just go in that place. Hey Kumar, go, like, this is how it feels. Um, Find it out where. Hey Kumar, we get we gonna make a run on our future shop on that day. Sure. <laughs> can you guys hook me up? Um, no. I, just like to, I just want to touch the controllers. I just want to go like. When I say make a run, I mean roll in there, not giving a fuck. Okay, and that's fine. Just be like activities normally. You want know what I'm gonna do? Is you guys will walk super slow. Everybody else will be walking normal, and we'll just play badass music like the Kill Bill music or something. It's, it's cooler when you imagine that in like the '90s when you have a boombox over your head, but now you're just like <laughs> with your phone in your hands, like all tinny and shit. Um, yeah, that's that. Anyways, what I was talking about before. Is that? Uh, oh wait, never mind. We keep PS4 stuff. Killzone Shadowfall is gonna announce that 24 AIs can be on screen. Uh, at first, I heard that number and I was like, "That sounds mighty dumb." And then they said, "Yo, Killzone one through th- uh, two through three, two and three. How about two and three? Like six was it six? six or seven AIs could be on screen before shit would go real." And I was like, "Man, but those games felt cool." Sounds 24, intense. 24 is a lot. It seems like a lot. Yeah. Um, especially because if you like kill one, Killzone Mercenary is like four. Yeah. 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 I never played it, so I have no opinion on that. But, um, yeah, kind of sounds like a small number, especially when you see stuff like Dead Rising or Rise or, okay, those are Xbox Ones, but anything. With, there's a lot of shit going on screen. Granted, those AIs are just kind of like, hey, I'm going to run at you and get stabbed. Yeah, they're dumb AI. And, like, kill zones, like, I'm going to fucking roll and shit, throw grenades, and they'll just go crouch, because it's just crowd control. And crazy, I don't know. Say Hellgast things yeah. and get stabbed in the throat. Hellgast. Yeah. Um, speaking of both consoles, kill, uh, Kingdom Hearts kills on three. Kingdom Hearts three gameplay <laughs> came out. Um, it looked alright. It, 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 I, I have never Hell finished the other ones. Goofy, that'd be insane. <laughs> that'd be like Goofy a, still the stabs Sony. The Hell <laughs> just like, just <laughs> takes oh, <yeah>. it. <laughs> it. It's like Kingdom Hearts three comes out on both consoles, but Kingdom Hearts Sony comes out on the PS four, and it's just like there's just like. Tekken characters and like crazy shit, like fucking infamous Coles in there for some reason. You're just like, what the fuck is he doing? What the fuck? And this is crazy. With with like cloud hair. I'd I'd I'd, I'd watch play that anyway. Uh, anyways, anyway, you know he still looks bald. It's just his skull is now shaped like cloud hair. I, yeah. I would play a quote unquote Kingdom Hearts game of Goofy, Sony. Goofy and Donald murdering Hellgast. Oh god. Um. Hey, you guys like uh, yep. Halo Three? No. Halo 3 is the free game on Xbox Live right now, Wonderful. starting October 16th. My which gold I, subscription I, has I love how made. Zombie just said no so casually. <laughs> Halo 3 was pretty fucking good. Halo yeah. 3 is my okay. favorite Halo. Halo 3 was the uh, the first descent into HD. Yes. The, the thing about this is that because Halo well, 3 Was it only 640p or something weird like that? Yeah, 690? Some weird thing. Something weird like that. Um, Because it's free. You just lied, people. Kumar. You lied on the internet. I'm sorry. It's upscaled to garbage. Uh, anyways, because it's free now, uh, more people happen to be playing it and more people are going back to it. To the point where I believe uh, one of my buddies, Fike, who is trying to work his way up to being super crazy mm-hmm. among Halo 4, which is actually getting there now. Oh, yeah? Cool he's stuff. already fucking he, there. Yeah. The guy's no, crazy. He, he's, people want to get him. He doesn't have a sponsor, so he has to find his way to get to a tournament, but people want him to play with them on their team. Seems crazy. Oh. Anyways, point is, he's been telling get him me... get him a Unity logo. Yes. Ooh, he's been telling me that uh, Halo 4 is being dropped from uh, certain um, com- com- teams, competitions. And they're picking up Halo 3 again. Oh, that's good. Um Halo 3 is rad. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Sandbox? Zombies? That's a competitive mode. 
gross. <laughs> Sandbox. Gross. Sandbox um, in general, really. Kilimanjaro. What else do we got here for the console? Is it sandbox or is it sand? Bar? Sand trap. Sand trap? Yeah. Yeah, sand trap. Sand trap. Sandbox was the new one that was built from Forge. Hey, yes. you got, do sand you, trap zombies. Do you guys have Xbox Live Gold? <laughs> no. No. Because it's bullshit. Good, because you guys can still use Project Spark without it. See what how is, it works. Say that again. See how it worked that in? I don't know. Project Spark. It's coming for PC and. Uh, That's cool. 360 and th- Xbox One. You can create Snap games out of, out of stuff. Hey, you guys want. NBA 2K14? No. Next no. gen? The only reason I'm saying this is because it's weird. Because the Xbox One version is a 60 gig download and the PS4 version is a 50 gig download. Yeah, it's really weird. Those are massive downloads. Maybe Let, less P- optimized on Xbox. Or compression team is real good on the PS4. Um, Multiplayer Master Last of Us are officially out. Uh, we've all bought them except for Kumar, I think. And we have not yeah. tried them. The fuck's wrong with you, Kumar? We haven't tried Yo, them. I'm about to start Persona, remember? Um, this bro. you don't play Persona fucking multiplayer, okay? You play fucking Last of Us. I do. With us. <laughs> <laughs> I find a way. <laughs> Stream it. Um, you can't though. You can't speed it. Yeah, it's, it's true. You could just hold up his iPhone. Hey, you know what happens when a PS4 gets too hot? Red light. What? That blue laser becomes a blue line becomes a red line. Oh, and it shuts itself down to be like, well, guys, before you fuck up any of my components, we'll go and shut down mode to cool off a little bit. Cool. Seems nice cool. that it's got a little fail safe that way. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. No yellow lights of death again? Yeah, no. No. Hopefully not. That'd be I think if any How of those great consoles, would it be if this hardware just like last Everything forever. is just Oh, okay. I was say everything just shits the bed and everybody's just fucking all right, Anger. Go back. PS3 360. I'm trying to be positive here. Okay, well, I'm trying to be negative. No, I just want crash burn. <laughs> um I'm jumping around this list because the jumping the PS4 stuff. Hey, if you guys like that uh, new weekly bundle for uh, Humble, they're doing... Death Spank. Death Spank? Is it that? Okay, Death I'm actually going to open it up so I don't know actually the games. All I heard is that the Worms that's on it, uh, for those of you who are thinking of getting it, the... Oh, the actual Humble bundle. Yeah, the the Humble Android bundle. one, not the weekly sale. Yeah, Death, Android... Death Spank's on the weekly sale. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay, anyways. Whatever one has the Worms Reloaded that you can pay for, apparently if you have the uh, non-Steam um, version... Uh, there's no multiplayer on that. People were complaining about that, but then they added it or something before we were able to um, do the podcast. Death Spank. It is. Okay, Death Spank 1. All the Death Spanks, yo. All of them. Wow. I hate them all. I'm not kidding. Um, what? <laughs> I've only played Infinite. I 100% in the first one. Those are the type of games that I enjoyed, but I I, I started to enjoy it and I hated the humor because, I don't know, I have that weird humor thing where I have to be really picky about it. I didn't like the Death Spank humor for some reason. Dan, I can feel the daggers. <laughs> that yeah. okay. Yeah. Also, the on the rain like Prince Prince of Darkness yeah, it's it's episode that, one and two company, but one and two Godhead. were actually really good. I like those. Have you played three? No. Did you don't know that you can stop with that statement? Well, they look different. Yeah, it's like a okay, a sixteen bit type. Fair enough. RPG thing rather than the like talk to turn based thing. Talk to me. What? Hey, what? there's been some crazy talk about Pokemon X and Y that it'll crash if you save in certain places in a town. Dan, you want to debunk that for us? Apparently, it's when you save near a taxi in that town. And I think it's only on the physical version. Don't, Wonderful. Don't save near taxis, you guys. In the big town. The yeah. middle one. In the big big town. The middle one. Middle don't, big town. So it straight up just deletes your save? Uh, no, you no, load it kind of just fucks it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You load in, you can't move, and then you just, hey. Without buying oh. a dinner first. So you have to delete it? Yeah. Though people said that they've managed to get in by mashing the shit out of the home button for about four or five minutes, and it solely pushes it to like, okay, you're fucking in. You're, okay, you move now. Um, guess what? Nintendo can patch it. Yeah, I, I noticed when you go to the online menu, uh, Do you have more the word, wonder trades. Okay, so you, you've clearly been to the online menu if you have wonder trade all over wonder your face. Trade. There is a button that just says update. Is that is that up? on the second page? Because all I look at is wonder trade. I don't know. I was, it's in the second column, second down. It might be. Wonder I was trade. This is what I was doing. Like, oh, what are these menu? Hey, update. What is that? Oh, well, I'm gonna chop by the ds for a bit. I don't know where it was. Um, but anyways, there's that. Wonder trade's the best fucking shit ever. Good. Just fucking random Pokemon. Man, we talked about this earlier in this podcast, but I can't stress it enough. Yep. Wonder Trade. Wonderful. Good. Hey, Castle Storm. Crazy game was on. Oh, yeah. Came with PC. Going crazy. Now it's going to be on PS3 Vita. Cool. What the fuck? No, I'm afraid. Who was it fucking on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, was. Yeah. Castle Storm. Castle, yes. not ca- no, that's Castle. No, that's the wrong one. That's No, was it Castle Storm? Yeah. No. Cas- I thought it was Castle Storm was on Ouya. No, Castle Storm was one that was an Xbox Live Arcade. That's What's right. What's the other one? What's the other one? Dude, I don't fucking. He's the Ouya owner. Devin, Ouya. Do you know what? You want to know where my Ouya is right now? 
probably in the same box whenever you my got Ouya my place. <laughs> is currently sitting with all of my retro gaming consoles. I want to write Ouya Castle. <laughs> <laughs> fuck is this shit and okay, we're well. out best ouya game i gotta know what it is all right fuck it fuck it's castle something you guys i think i i there just click that like top 10 best shit it's been <laughs> they shut down their website <laughs> <laughs> wonderful <laughs> it crashed the... okay five best ouya. Ben should be don't let me down here don't let me down here. Towerfall. Fucking. Castle I knew Storm. I'm fucking right. Castle Storm was on Xbox Live. Oh, Arcade. now I'm not excited for this. Then it was anymore. on Steam. Now I'm not excited for it. Why? Castle Storm was that like Angry Birds, like fucking Swords and Soldiers hybrid thing. Can I just. What? There's a game that says on this new games coming out list that says it's Enclave and it's coming out October 4th, which already came out. That's a fucking Xbox original game almost at launch. Why is that out? Anyway, point is, let's move on. I think we're done with news. I can't think also, of anything. Yeah, fucking I fucking last. I think we're done with news. I feel like there's something major that happened, but I think, no, we talked about the, the, the p- delays and all that stuff. So, uh, oh, Battlefield 4 on the 360, if you're planning oh, on getting yeah. it, have 14 gigs free to install that multiplayer. And an additional 25 for the single player. Jeez. God damn. Uh, they also are going to have to change their hard drive so quick. Yeah. Well, that means that not only does the first tier hard drive of the 20 gig, but also the second tier 60 gig hard drives are incompatible with Battlefield 4. Damn. Damn. You have to have had a premium console yeah. to play Battlefield 4 on Xbox 360. Hey, they put out another Scrolls Online character creation video. It looks like you can make your character look super unique. It's pretty awesome. Scrolls, Don't know what the gameplay is going to be. Elder Scrolls? 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 Isn't that Scrolls? a real giant game? Man, they should really sue for that. Over quick. Hand scene. Hand scene. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Hey, you can cross buy games, PS4, Flower Flow, Sound Shapes. Get in on it, get on it, get out of it, get out of it. Get in on it, get out of it. Escape plan. Escape plan. Get it out of here. Go. Escape plan. Hey, wow, there's a lot of things that I added to that list for some fucking weird reason. <laughs> hey, more Next week, we've got coming out four game releases such as Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut, available for the PC, PS3, and 360. It says Wii U, but that's Why'd you skip over that fucking first game? Are you fucking nuts? Lego Marvel Super Heroes. For the Wii U, PS3, 360, PC, and Fucking 3, everything. It's a Lego PS, game. And PS, Lego Vita. games are fantastic. Lego Marvel. Um, as well as that uh, Xbox Live Ninja Turtles. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Uh, as well as Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst for the PS3 360. <laughs> um, the new Rocksmith 2014 edition is coming out for the 360, PS3, and PC. That could be cool. Path of Exile is officially getting its official launch out of beta. Path of Exile is pretty cool. I actually don't know if they actually finished all their acts and all that stuff. But there's that. Um, Next relevant one. Next line. Uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies is coming out for the 3DS. E-shop. E-shop. Are you excited about that? That could be cool. Yeah. I heard a lot of good stuff That's from all the old ones, chat. isn't it? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It's weird, but new. It's got some stuff. It's... That was all the old ones. Hey, crazy. Dan, calm yourself because Batman Ark, Ark, Orkham, Orkham Origins, Origins is coming out next week as well. Did you have a stroke again? Oh, that means, is Stork? that Blackgate one? Yeah. 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 That like Metroidvania one for the Vita. I had that one pre-ordered accidentally and then I canceled it and got the PC one. And then I heard like all the cool shit about the Vita one and I was like... Well, they're going to be different yeah. games. It's not just like, hey, yeah. we made the a same rehash. game in side But if that one's cooler than this one... Well, I think so. I think the one you've got on PC is just going to be like... <laughs> you know what worries me about that game, though? Sorry, next week is going to be crazy after this week. <laughs> yeah? They designed it to run the, the way it is on both handhelds, and that worries me. That's true. Because the 3DS and the Vita are very, very different from one another. You know what that could mean? I mean, the 3DS got a shitty frame rate. Vita, how good? All right, calm your shit. I'm going to skip to the two weeks from now because Delhi fucking Premolition is coming out for PC. <laughs> Premolitions? I don't even know. <laughs> and right. I think you had that stroke. There's pre- <laughs> you know, there was some deal. I saw something. You can get, like, I don't know, 20% off if you pre-order it right now. Steam. Okay, stuff. I have to drag this. <laughs> Just fucking type in Steam. No, okay. People I'll know check, you have a goddamn I'll keyboard. Ch- I'll check it after. Um, but uh, that's it for releases. Moving on to comment. 
Uh, last week we had a comment on the podcast from okay. a sweet, sweet dude called Linker or chick dude person. Linker12795. Uh, they say, thanks for minimizing the spoilers on GTA. GTA. PS3 and my reserve copy are in a different state. And he was sad face. Or they oh, were sad face. That's too bad. Hope you get it soon. Hopefully you already got it. Hopefully you're playing yeah. through it. And hopefully you're enjoying yourself with that. This is a great game. Um, no I haven't question. played any GTA 5 this week. You didn't finish it? Even though you're like a mission away? No, because I told you the story of my games yep. this week. Are we going to wrap it? Uh, sure if you guys have it. any questions in the chat, last seconds. I think there's something. There's somebody that someone said... I think I brought it up. Oops, are you made of indie games? No. No, I think that's pretty much it. That is pretty yeah. much I'm it. I'm just seeing what time it is. Pretty much it. All right, so you guys, um, last second, while we're going off, Debbie, you want to wrap it up? Seems to do it recently. Oh, okay. If you guys are listening to us on iTunes, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. We've got lots of great content, as well as, uh, did you release that thing we were supposed to release? Is FTL Part 71 out? Yeah. Yeah, new FTL is out. Um, if you guys are uh, just watching us on YouTube, uh, check out some of our other stuff and make sure you uh, comment on this podcast. Wow, what was that? <laughs> uh, for those who saw that, please comment about it. Uh, if you do write comments in the uh, this podcast that's coming out, you will be able. To, we will read it up on the next podcast for you, as well as we do stream this live. Um, we've been late for the past couple of weeks, but we're hoping to maybe get back into that, um, into early. We normally start, start about 8 PM Eastern on Thursdays. Um, and thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Sompy. I'm Richo. I'm Dan. And I'm Kumar. Take care, you guys. Bye. We'll see you next time.